Good morning, everyone. I feel so weird. Uh, my shoe does not fit. Welcome to Coffee with Crunchheads on Newsbox. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm awake. Mm -hmm. oh, get rid of that lower third. Hi, I'm bigger. <laughs> <laughs> now, in large size. I'm bigger. I'm, uh... I was. Well, I'll tell you that later. I'll tell. I'll tell you that later. Welcome to NPR. Uh, turn me up. I'm here with a co-host. Oh look, look, look! Just for today. Yeah. Hi. Oh, look, look at that! The scenes in the studio. Right. Here with my co-host, folks. Say hello to Paul Manafort. Hi, my name's Paul. I uh, just got raided. Uh, luckily, we, I wasn't watching my Swedish, uh, uh, little person porn at the time. Oh, no. I was God, watching, I was watching out. old reruns of Family Feud. You like how I'm sneaking this into the camera <sighs> shot? Look at that. It's subliminal messaging, folks. Why? I kind of want to go see Newsbox. What is Newsbox? I see it on the screen. I kind of <sighs> just, I don't know. Hello, everybody. After, after, after he, uh, does Newsbox, I, Swedish chef. Oh man, this is gonna be a weird one. I'm telling you. I, uh, yeah. Well, you Jason know, Allen. It is a feel good Friday. And you're Jason Allen. And I am Jason Allen. Hello there, everybody. And all uh, right, man. It's yeah. It's it's a weird Friday. It is uh, running on uh, fumes. Not much sleep. I know, right. Uh, totally. Kind of. But you know, everything's I, changed. Everything's changed. You, 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 everything, everything has changed. changed. Yeah, Folks, I, I, everything has changed. <laughs> I, I thought about that last night. I'm sitting there, and I this had this... Uh, directed by David Lynch. That's right. <clears throat> everything it, has changed. Starring Salvador Dali. Everything Kyle has McLaughlin. changed. Everything has changed. Yeah. No, I was sitting around <sighs> last night, and I thought about it, and... Uh, uh, it occurred to me I was having a feeling that I haven't felt since I was a kid. Was it uh, more than a feeling? It was. It was a uh, cute Boston, <laughs> and uh, no, it, it was this weird kind of trepidatious uh, sort of walking in a in a uh, cemetery at night feeling. You know, mm -hmm. and it suddenly occurred to me what it was, and it was kind of out of nowhere. It's not like a huge major feeling right now, but I was feeling it last night. That is the same feeling. We are back in the Cold War. No. Yes. With this no, whole North Korea no, no, and everyone's no, no. amping it up and talking all excited and stuff. That away. I'm like, holy cow, man. It's, it's almost like back I felt in the like Cold War? back in back before the wall came down, back before Gorbachev and Glasnost and you know, back when we were young kids doing drills under the desks of our uh, classrooms in case doing the big one drugs under our What's desks right oh wait no what was it did you say what sort of <clears throat> what what sort of parochial school did you you know I was down there doing uh, mm -hmm. yeah we i was a public school so we were eating paste <laughs> Well, what you know, was that? Eating I, paste i don't know it's just rite of passage you got to eat paste you i know, know. was it well there was always that one kid in the school, in the grade school. Yeah, for me, that would eat anything. It would be like, it'd be like he, like uh, this kid. Uh, maybe we should have felt sorry for him we should. because it was like pretty much lunch was a uh, pack of Elmer's glue, right? right? You know, and you'd be oh, like, oh man, that's what autism is. I didn't oh, know. Hey, that, but, hey. <laughs> no, God, no, no, no. I it's a dude. I haven't had any oh, sleep. Oh look, it yeah. stopped working. Oh, fantabulous. I think. Yeah. Well, so I was down here upgrading. Yeah. And so we we're trying the upgrades today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And should I, should uh, I put that in air quotes, upgrade? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking at it right now. It's uh, I don't know if it's working right now. I mean, the, the streaming is working, but yeah. that thing right there. Yeah. <sighs> and I changed some stuff around, mm. and so now that's partly why I'm tired. Mm. Um. Hmm. Doesn't even look. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Looks. It looks dead, Jim. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So you were saying paste? Maybe. I'm gonna... Yeah. 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 It's this weird sort of little rite of passage, I'm right? Go over You're, there and look at it. You. You do that. We'll. Uh, you and I. We'll talk about paste. Hello, everybody. Paste. <laughs> what's for dinner? Anyway. 
No, uh, but no, it wasn't like this ma- major feeling I had, but it was sort of uh, that feeling you got when you're a kid, and you know it's you, you know it's not a tangible danger at the moment, like oh my gosh, it's imminent, but it still was. I mean, it was always kind of at the back of your mind, right? Mm-hmm. And that's just, I felt for a little bit last night that feeling again, like all all is you know all is not right in the state of Denmark, you know. And, yeah, uh, as I'm looking over there, right? Maybe I didn't even start it cr- properly. Oh well, it lo- looks like it's well. Right. Okay, so I upgraded yeah. a bunch of software and yeah. <sighs> firmware, firm hardware, and monitors. Notice the monitors are even bigger now. Holy cow! I know they just can't get any bigger. <laughs> that snuck up on me. I know. I know. Next week, next week, this That's whole gonna wall is going to be well, just... Jason. <laughs> Sweet, a laser light show. Yeah. This is great. I mean, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, if if InfoWars can have a wall full of... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We, oh, man. We are, oh, we are in a so bad. technological arms race with Alex Jones <laughs> and InfoWars. <laughs> we're, we're, up, we're stepping up. Maybe. It's yeah. possible. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah. <sighs> Boy, yeah. yeah. I, well, I, you know, I listen to podcasts and stuff when I come. Well, I had sure. stuff to to how I'm going to be looking over there. So all you need day. background. Look, stuff. I'm, I'm getting more close up to. That's awesome. Not that anyone wants that, believe me. But well, well yeah. I but, like it, <sighs> man. I, so I, yeah, I came down, you know, because rearranging stuff. Yeah. Oh, look, did I did I mention for those of you who are wondering? Here's the studio here. I know. Hi. Wave, wave to kind the of, studio, folks. Kind of what? Uh, Hello, folks. I was hoping to do this uh, earlier. Behind the scenes, yeah. Yeah. So, so you're getting behind the scenes. You see, uh, when regular shots is just this white shirt, like, oh, he's dressed appropriately. All right. And then you go to the, the behind the scenes ones. <laughs> oh, he's wearing shorts. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. I forgot to right. mention that. It's like, hey, Jason, you might want to wear pants today because I've got uh, uh, this little right. wide camera shot that I always. Well, I always there's do there's that. one guy right. You are wearing shorts. I'm wearing Look at shorts. That. It's feel good Friday, you know. It's, it's like I'm. Uh, there's one guy right right now. He's down in Lubbock, Texas, and he's mm-hmm. watching. He's like, man, that guy's got good Lubbock, games. Texas. Yeah, he's got good games. And mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I, That's in between. Uh, you know. It's like, oh, I'll catch these guys before InfoWars. Right. <laughs> right. Like Texas. Right, coffee. Oh, I, man. I don't know how good I feel us being paired up. Well, with. I was. I know. You need background stuff. You're, you're listening right. to this stuff. And I like to keep tabs on everything. And yeah. as you know, I keep tabs on stuff. Uh, yeah, I have a whole rant. And right, I'm so left, tired in between. That I can't even do my rant. Wow. Uh, yeah. That is tired. Yeah. Well, it's been a whole week. Yeah. The weather and all that stuff. Humidity. Humidity yes. does it. Yeah. Last night it was like two in the morning. It's still like seventy-five percent humidity really? out there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, I'm, that's when that's when the air conditioning yeah. really goes off. I'm telling you. Right. So. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm yeah. just. I'm. I'm no oh, man. Yeah. So I'm down here, and I, if I'm gonna be down here for a few hours, working on stuff, and mm-hmm. you know, I turn things on. Sure. And guess what I turned on last night? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I watch, so you don't have to. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, there was some interesting. There's uh, we have interesting North Korea information and all that, mm. and mm-hmm. some interesting stuff. But yeah, and uh, yeah, I watched yeah the latest, and it's just like I don't know. There's a lot of crack pottery. There is. There is <laughs> coming out <laughs> of that crack kiln. Pot- crack pottery shards. <laughs> right, shards coming out of that. Yeah, can't coming out of the far right's kiln. It's. I think yeah. you know what I think it is. Okay. Uh, because uh, I'm kind of one of those people who thinks that, uh, yeah, like, okay, what was the story that you sent me yesterday that was the highlight of everything? Oh, the poll. Oh, the yeah. The poll. Yeah. It hit the news wires, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh, this is breaking news, right? Yeah. And that poll was? A majority of uh, Republicans... Uh, agree that if Donald Trump wanted to uh, suspend the uh, 2020 elections, they would be all on board with it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one of the polling questions. So, you know, 
Yeah, and, and there were some other things in there, and you know, and then then they polled the people who took the poll, and it was like they found yeah. out that most of the people who answered the poll were a bunch of dumb a holes and stuff. She, I mean, it was just like you know, they skewed it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And this is like this hits all the main right. Yeah. The, where did you see this on CNN on the main? Oh, oh, oh multiple. Look I th- at this. Yeah, I think I first came across it. Um, oh, I first came across it uh, actually on satellite radio uh, um, PBS. Mm. And then I Good said, old PBS. And then when I heard that, I'm like, oh, I got I got to check this out a little bit more. So of course I I, yeah. I get my sources from I <clears throat> listened a little bit to CNN, found their take on it. Oh. Went went over to MSNBC. But they were all talking about it, right? Got their take oh, on. Talk talk talk. And mm-hmm. I even turned on the I even turned on to Fox News for a bit. They had a tiny little blurb about it. But they they didn't really bring it. They just um, they just mentioned that it was there, and they didn't really uh, expand on yeah. it at all. So I, you know, I kind of got all the so the field. So what kind of horse crap is this? I mean, it, it's like it, it's um, <clears throat> to me. I I equated it to like uh, now they 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 still do this, but the old Tonight Show. Yeah. Jay, one of the things that Jay Leno brought to the old Tonight Show. Was the was it jaywalking? Was that what they called it or whatever? Well, that's a Leno's version. Yeah, uh, uh, who, uh, I can't remember. They still do it, mm-hmm. <clears throat> where they walk around and they interview people and they mm-hmm. ask them questions like, "Who was the first president?" And people go, mm, uh, all, "Was all, it Bill uh, Clinton?" I can't yeah, remember. All late night shows now do it. Yeah, you know, the man on the street. Let's go down to the do sidewalk. <laughs> Sweet. But we're gonna do it with you. Excellent. Uh, I'll get out there. But it's going to be advanced physics questions. So. <laughs> So, uh, in 15 seconds or less, please explain super string theory to me. Go! Go! You know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, look at me, huh? Conservation, thermodynamics, go! <laughs> go! Go! Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Punic Wars! <laughs> Give me a sore exclamation. <laughs> yeah, go! Right. You know. That would be uh, the John Batchelor version of <clears throat> jaywalking. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> you have to be on the East Coast for that, I think. Yeah, that's a very good show. Mm-hmm. But anyway, <clears throat> anyway, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was my take on it. Yeah. It was like, are you kidding me? Like, there's so much news, and this, this is okay. This is where those people who might be doing the info wars and stuff complain about the mainstream media, yeah. and it's like, and then you have an example of it right there. Yeah. And it's the, and it's, this is not to defend. Uh, Jones, you know, right? Because right. he's a crackpot. Yeah. But the thing is, is that that's like it's right there, and you're like, oh, 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 this is news. Oh, you're polling whether or not we're going to have an election in 2020. Right. Wow. Yeah. And 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 you've skewed the poll to interview like Trump people and stuff. Wow. Right. You know. Good for you, CNN. You know, you know what my thought process was that on that. You know, was, it's like this is this is. <sighs> yeah, you're exactly right. My pro my thought process when I saw that was like, first of all, a tell me something I don't know. B, if, I'm sure if they went to like a, a college campus or like a very uh, you know like a coffee house where you know in the middle <laughs> a of house. well no you know, like, like with a guy with a beanie maybe some congas maybe they're playing some you know some '60s jazz. Hey, listen, my types are. In hey, s- bro, don't harsh my mellow. Right. <laughs> Do you dig? And some guy comes in with like a yeah exact oh yeah. I'll I'll have you know. I'll have you know that my uh, my types are stereo. Yeah. West Side Story. There you go. Get up, Jason. Let's start dancing. Okay. No. No, but but I said, geez, you could go to to like you could go to like a like a protest rally or you know somewhere where congregation is, and you could if you ask them. Your I'm, Everybody, I'm in, I'm in '60s mode now. We gotta love I'm one not another. Even in, I'm not. I'm not living in this time period. Right. Please don't go to Barry Maguire's Eve of Destruction. Oh, oh my god. Can gosh. we skirt away? <laughs> Bodies floating in the River Jordan. No. Uh, but no. I mean, if you went and you asked total, uh, like a skewed question 
to progress, you know, real progressives, they would, you know, it, you would come back with some like test result as like seventy nine point three percent of people polled believe all far all far right guys need to be lobotomized. You know, it'd be something crazy like that, and you'd like, oh my gosh. They, I can't believe people really think that. I mean, it is what it is. It's just, it's, you it's know. just. It was, yeah. it was, it was. Uh, why is this in the headlines? I mean, it's manipulative. It is exactly manipulates. Yeah. The electorate. It's. Uh, oh, let's put. Oh, let's let's do this and let's put that in. And I don't care. I think you said it was a GOP poll. But I don't even yeah. care. It was trolling. Sure it was. It was pure trolling. And and then people go. Well, uh, I don't understand why people are mad at the mainstream media because uh, this is why. This shouldn't even hit the yeah. – I mean, this should be like a little minor, tiny, like teen, tiny print, yeah. little tiny, you know. That's stuff you hear on like uh, the uh, political talk shows uh, on mm-hmm. radio, right? That's where you hear that sort of stuff. You don't – Usually during newscasts or whatever, I mean, there's a heck of a lot more bigger fish to fry than some obscure GOP poll that claims that that Trump supporters would love it if the uh, if 2020 well, thing was suspended. It just it's an echo chamber, I guess. And yeah, just, I'm sure you could you make know, a poll, I, find Trump supporters that would love to pour a bunch of Cheetos on top of their head. Right. I mean, you know. Right. You know. N- Ninety nine point nine percent. You could find polls. You know, a- aliens think humans aren't real. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's it's it's. Uh, I, I just uh, that's the thing that makes me upset mm. because, uh, and that's the whole. And then people are like, "Oh, we can't have this fake news. This you know, info wars and all this stuff." It's like, well, folks. Yeah. Look at this nonsense over here, you know, uh, and 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 it and it is very skewed. It's like yeah. that. Of course, they're gonna because uh, it has Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. It has craziness in it, and <laughs> let's run it, shall we? Yeah. In the meantime, in the but, meantime. But you got to admit, they're synonymous. Well, yeah, but it, well, <laughs> I, no, but okay. in the meantime, in the I, meantime, I threw in that shot. Thing. There's the North Korea stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And all the headlines I'm looking right here on the Google News, top stories. This is not curated. This is just what comes up. And uh, Washington Post. Yeah. Are we on the brink of nuclear war with North Korea? Question mark? Question mark. Probably not. Now, that this is actually how the narrative has changed over right. the week, by the right. way. Uh, fact check. A Trump nuclear strike against North Korea? Yeah. Constitutional or not? <laughs> but this is PolitiFact. Yeah. Wipe that off the front news. Yeah. Are you kidding me? A Trump nuclear strike against North Korea, constitutional or not? Question mark. Uh, Politifact, get off the front page. If you have yeah. to ask that question, you know that shouldn't be a headline. Well, that should not be a headline. Yeah, I, I guess go- who gets to order a nuclear strike? Yeah. Just gonna tell you right there. Yeah. C- constitutional or not? What what kind of question is that? It's excuse me, it's, Jason. Um, what is one of the roles of the president of the United States? Whether you like the yeah, president of yeah. the United States or not, what's one of his number one roles? In fact, I would say his job one. Well, as commander in chief, he oh, is ding ding ding, commander in chief. Right, he is in charge of the nuclear codes and mm-hmm. and the decision to uh, use them thereof. But no, but this is just crap to get a headline yeah. on Google. Crap, crap. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, see, I see I'm that so stuff, upset. and I glaze over. Now my eyes glaze over, and I look for other stuff. The one, the one yesterday, the the one story wasn't even in an American mainstream uh, paper. Mm-hmm. Uh, the story is uh, one of, one of the major papers in in China, right? So yeah. you, you know it's state controlled, and they're only putting in whatever well. was. They they uh, said you know if there's a if there's exchange of shots between U S and North Korea, we're neutral. We're, oh, we're staying we're staying out of it. That's you see right yeah. That, With, that's news. That's to me when interesting right because the way the Chinese really? papers are they're not on their own. I mean they're a mouthpiece oh, no, no, no. for the government. Yeah. And so when they come oh, out yeah. and basically say it, well, if let's they're say it was Taiwan, well yeah Formosa yeah they're not okay yeah, yeah. but no they're like uh, wow. they're they're like if there's an exchange, whatever, between North Korea and U.S. I'll send you the link. Okay. Uh, it's uh, they're they're 
we're neutral. Wow. And that got, I was like, when the Chinese say, and that's, you know, that's headline news, right? Right. There. Like, if you want to read the headlines, CNN, NBC, and all yeah. these. Oh, I'm so. Uh, uh, that's headline news. That's yeah. actually not a poll whether people want to postpone the 2020 election. And yeah. It can be. Unless that's going to happen. Unless actually they're walking in and somehow yeah. Mitch McConnell or whoever is postponing the dang election. Right. A yeah. poll means nothing. I mean, it's, you know, yeah. let's have a poll of Americans who. Uh, uh, what do you think of uh, Kim Jong Un's haircut? <laughs> right. Ninety nine percent of Americans think it sucks. Right. Point one thinks groovy, yeah. and like point seven Actually, says, you know what? not you know, sure. <laughs> yeah. Most millennials are like, hmm. <laughs> right. Interesting look. It reminds me of that uh, that, <laughs> oh. that one guy. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean. It, that's that's actually and where did you find that on an alternative out there news source yeah actually i wouldn't even classify it as alternative i think i ran across it as on bbc yeah you know so uh uh, yeah so donald trump cnn cnn donald trump the locked and loaded president that's right he's locked and loaded. oh oh, that's a headline there you go cnn good Mm -hmm. headline I, I mean, I'm really disgusted with all of the the and and then it's like okay yeah, yeah. I'm watching crackpot <laughs> right quite yeah. literally yeah yeah but then he has like uh, then he has an actual North Korea intelligence expert on which mm. and then you're like okay I kind of gotta mm. watch it which is why I t- turned it on to check mm. it out because it was like well I want to see these guests right. Yeah. After Roger Stone does his, whatever Roger Stone does, right? Yeah. You know, and and then you're like, hmm, okay, there's, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's say Trump's <laughs> anyway. empty threats toward North Korea endanger us all. Chicago Tribune. Mm. So Trump's empty threats toward mm. North Korea. That so there's a theme. So the theme about North Korea is. Um, that's one of them. I think that's one of the big themes. Yeah. Is uh, I think Trump's empty threats toward North Korea endanger us all. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's people aren't. Ha- I mean, we're, we're yeah. talking. They got nukes and yeah. war and yeah. stuff. Yeah. By the way, uh, you remember when we had the armistice and declared the end of that war? Oh, you mean the Korean War? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. As far as I know, what was that date? Uh, somewhere off in the future. What? They haven't, they nope. haven't, yeah. You haven't read your history books? You you don't remember the date that we declared well, victory Well, you, in that war? We declared a victory. There just doesn't any sign. Did we of, actually declare victory? No, I'm sure we did. You know, it's a police action, but there is no uh, there is no end to this. Uh, cream. It's a trick! Yeah. The it's war cream. never ended. Nope, still going on. We never, no one has signed off. We didn't go on the uh, decks of the USS Arizona yeah. and you had sign me, papers. You had me going there for a minute. You're questioning me. I'm like, dude, I, I mean, I, this is, this is, I, I grew up position papers back this in college. This, it's still going on. Really, I know what I'm saying. This, anyway. this, is, this is the mood I'm in. <laughs> You're questioning. I'm sorry I showed up. I <laughs> know. This is like... <laughs> This is my InfoWars edition tape. Ooh, oh, no. It's oh, horrible. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I, I, I know, I'm going to tune in sometime. It's going to be, hi, this is Doc Normal. Welcome to InfoWars. Like, oh, my God. Hey, what are you doing? A gig is a gig, folks. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Well, okay. So so the deal is, is uh, what was it? Wait a minute. CNN, uh, the third... I'm just reading the, yeah. just the segment of the headlines. Trump warns North Korea, thanks Russia, backs Mueller, full press conference. Oh, okay, that's just like the synopsis. So the thing is, is that... The thing with the... First of all, this is all always scary, right? Mm. You got this guy over here, and he's he's been... He's got missile technology, and he's got nukes, and he's they've been doing this for a long time. Sure. And... Uh, there's part of this that I'm curious about that I did not get a chance to research last night because I'm curious about it. And that's kind of what went on in the Bush, Clinton, Obama years with North Korea. Yeah. I don't know if you're like familiar with 
sure. kind of how things. Now, it was the Obama eight years of presidency, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, that the nuclear reactors were the seal. They had like a seal. Yeah. Official. I don't know. It's like with the, with the ring and the like <laughs> count. The signet yeah. ring and mm-hmm. Camelot. Yeah. You know, Ooh. they had a seal on that reactor there in North Korea. True. Or reactors. And then they broke the seal and they went in and started these reactors up. Right. Yeah. And yeah. That, that was during Obama administration. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so <clears throat> everyone was like, why the F did that happen? Yeah. Why was that allowed to happen? Why did why did it happen? Yeah. Because there's deal, there's dealings, there's right? There is. And just just as much as, you know, who knew that healthcare was so complicated? Who knew that the North Korean, you know, uh situation was so complicated? But this happened be- before Trump though. Oh sure. The, I mean, this is not a Trump thing. Yeah. You know, this is this is an Obama Hillary Clinton thing. Yeah, you know, like a Spike Lee joint. This was like a, a right. It's it's a continuation, uh, though. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah uh, Obama may, his his culpability is just kicking the can down the road. Uh, Bush, not same so thing. Not uh, so good. No, yeah. And Bush, like, same thing. It's so good. It's like mm, they're still far away. Not so, so good. We'll we'll look at this and you know in another year or two. Yeah. The problem is when you do that. Pretty soon the year is up and you're looking at... It, so the yeah. one thing I have heard in uh-huh. defense of the former president, Obama, sure. is that, you know, the people who were around him were like, oh, no, 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 it's, 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 these guys, they're not going to be able to have the technology to do this or that or right. whatever, right? Right. <sighs> so the, the North Korea has been this kind of uh, strategic chess piece. Mm-hmm. I hate using those words when it comes to geopolitical. Po- Hello, I'm Henry Kissinger. Welcome to the, the Henry Kissinger f- Show on fate. Info Wars. Right, the fate of nations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We will be talking about chess pieces with Jason Allen, otherwise known as the late Zbigniew Groove <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. This is a big news. Say that five times yeah. fast. Well, on a Monday. May you rest in peace. Right? Sure. Anyway, uh, but uh, so there's this negotiation. Yeah. Uh, people they get to trade billions of dollars, mm-hmm. and I can't remember what they trade exactly. Who did the Chinese no, or, or the North, North Koreans. Koreans? Oh, they they What's have a lot of coal. And they oh, have coal. Well, you were, they're natural resources, yeah. and you know China does buy ninety percent of all exports out of North Korea. Right. Uh, right. So. You know, and so so they got that. Yeah. And so we just had the United States went to the United Nations. Okay. And said sanctions. Yeah. For all this, you know, lifting off chicanery the, for all the missiles and all the stuff that's yeah. going on, right? Yeah. And the United Nations voted unanimously, along with Russia. 15-0. Right? And China. Yeah. To vote sanctions. Now, the interesting thing I have heard from analysts is that, yeah, the Chinese, they'll they'll put in a vote. You know, Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they'll follow their vote. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, okay. Come on, China. China, come on. And then they're like, okay. Sign the paper, China. You're bad. All right. (laughs) Uh, We signed the papers now just to open the border gate. Mission Impossible. Bring that coal train. Right. (laughs) Bring that coal train. (laughs) On the coal train. (laughs) This is kind of a mess of a Friday it is. Um... It's a soundtrack for Fred. I know. Coltrane. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. North Korean Coltrane. Da, 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 da. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway. you're welcome. <laughs> so so yeah. that happened. Yeah. All right. And then we we know that the trade is going to go on somehow under the radar. Sure. All right. I, w- I would expect so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
So <laughs> listen to the noises I make thinking about North Korea. So what's the deal here? So they they have capabilities. They have nuclear things. Mm-hmm. And they're basically uh, Kim Jong-un. I mean, it's a gangster republic. Yeah. Right. That's I think I think that's fair to call it that. It's a family fair. gangster family run business. Luckily there's nothing like that over here. Well, no, but uh, to be fair. Yeah. You know, I mean it, and this started with Un's grandfather? Yep. Right? Yep. Uh Sung oh, I don't know. Uh so and then transferred down to Kim Il Sung, then Kim right, Il- Kim, uh, right. Kim Jong Un. I remember when the grandfather died. Yeah, I actually would listen to shortwave radio. Yeah, and when I would, I have actually intercepted and recorded back in the old days, back when people listened to shortwave radio, mm-hmm. inter- and recorded because you'd record it. Radio Pyongyang. Yes. Yes. And, and I actually uh, listened to the uh, the tributes to the grandfathers. And oh. He had died. Yeah. At that time, it was like in the nineties ish. Some, yeah. Somewhere er, early. In, yeah. Early nineties. Somewhere in there. Yeah, great. Great. Quick story. Uh, mm-hmm. Early nineties. Listening to shortwave. You know, North Korean radio is on, mm-hmm. and I remember this because of the name, the title of one of the songs. You know, there's patriotic song. Oh, lots and of they patriotic. Come, yeah, it comes back. It's the name of the song is "The Masses Are Seething," <laughs> and I was like, that, "What?" Okay, the, and so I remember to this day, you know, the masses are seething. I like Bon Jovi's cover of The Masses Are Seething. I do too. I like them. Yeah. And then the mm-hmm. more little known version of the all female fronted vixen. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So, so there, so basically, this guy's power base is based on the nukes. Yeah. And the missile technology. Yeah. Which they sell to other people, like Iran. <laughs> um, right. Uh, and so that's how he keeps in power. His firm control over, yeah. yeah. Otherwise. That and systematic terrorism of your own people by either starving them or uh, well, that is, that making is, them disappear. It, but yeah, yeah. That's just yeah one, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a totalitarian regime. Yeah. Uh, the people are, yeah, everyone agrees, like hands down. Like among all political spectrums, that those people are screwed. Yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, from Rachel Maddow to Alex Jones, there's no disagreement. No. And look, there's something we can agree on. <laughs> there is common ground. That wow. The North Korean people are host. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a horrible regime. Mm-hmm. They're starved to death unless they. You know, do what literally, literally tow the party line. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, and you, you know, yeah. you see the marches and all that stuff. Um, so, and, and there's, well, yeah, there's different forms of. In the, back in the day with the communists, you mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm. different satellite regimes had levels of communism. Sure. North Korea would be like. The, extreme communism. The alt-right version. Yes, of kind of, extreme yeah. communism. Yeah. Poland would be like, mm, communism yeah. when everyone's looking. You know, I mean, sure. you know, it, it would depend on... Uh, actually, it would be gauged. Truth be told, it would be gauged by your, 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 your activity in the black market. Mm. Like, if you had a, uh, a very active black market yeah. economy, yeah. means your communism... Was, you know, people were turning the other, right, 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 turning the other eye, and 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 it was like that, and and what was the first country that kind of folded under the communism was Poland, Lech Walesa, and the, yeah, all of that, and there was a reason because they were, you know, Poland had, al- had always chafed, <laughs> yeah, under under uh, right. you know communism, right. I mean, and they had a cardinal there, yeah, who was a Lequilenza and a cardinal and other folks. That was cardinal even, went on to be pope, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, from Krakow. Folks. Yeah. folks. Uh, so, yeah, so there was that whole thing. And and so different, you know, if you went through the satellite states, you could say, woo, East Germany is here, Poland's here, no, no, no. North Korea, off the charts, baby. Way off the charts. There, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it used to be them. Tortures, you know. Yeah, in the old days, it used to be them and just one step below Cuba, you know. Yeah, well, surprisingly, even Cuba was kind... uh, Cuba was an interesting case. Yeah, they they devolved more over the years. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking like right then in the Cuban Missile Crisis, Nikita Khrushchev, Fidel Castro, you yeah, know, but I hardline. Think, I think Cuba kind of did shoes a against them. Juggling act. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the thing with Cuba was that uh, economic. They it, want, they it's wanted, always economic, yeah. folks. Right. I mean, you you can't have a a, a nation state, a civilization, an organization. Uh, you have to have the economy, right? Yep. People got to eat. People go- People got to eat. Yeah, exactly. People got to live, man. Right, and yeah. if they ain't eating, they're not happy. Right. So you got to either figure out how to crush them under your jackbooted... <laughs> this is wonderful Friday discussion. I'm like waiting for jack- the doors to get kicked in now by, you know, pre-dawn raid. Oh, uh, whatever. That'll happen. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I will save that for Monday. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? That's fatalistic of you. Who cares? It's gonna uh, end. Uh, anyway, uh, I can't believe it. I stuck out my tongue. I hate it when people stick out their tongue. Oh. Uh, it, but anyway, so so North Korea is way off the charts there. Yeah, they're people are screwed. If the volume goes up to ten, they're like 11. eleven. Yeah, yeah. And so so he's got these nukes, and that's the power he's got in the world. Mm-hmm. To threaten everyone, and the big, the big thing, you know, and and there's like the headlines last week and this week have been like, uh, he can uh, send a missile to Chicago, like yeah. that's the capabilities now. Yeah. At first, it was like mm, Alaska or yeah. you know maybe Hawaii, Seattle, right? If you're, if you're, people, eh, if, if you're lucky. West Coast, yeah. and now it's like Chicago or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes a lot of precision to do that, by the way. So. You know, just mm-hmm. keep that in mind. It is rocket science, mm-hmm. <laughs> and that that's still like firing a bullet and aiming a right. bullet. And so, then, but then you have to contend with uh, questions that are pure physics, right? For an ICBM to work, it's got to go out in the upper atmosphere, mm-hmm. and you've got to build something that can take reentry. Right. And you know, only you know, only usually the super of the superpowers are have right. that sort of technology to do that. And that's what a lot of people are scratching their heads, do they have that technology yet? And I tend to think no. Well, it's right. I think they have short the short and mid range missiles, but I think the ICBM delivery system of the re entry now. Yeah, and I, I kinda tend to agree with you yeah. on that. That doesn't mean that it's not scary and we got problems here. Yeah, and it doesn't mean they're not working yeah. at working towards that right the second, you know. <laughs> Just because the North Koreans can't solve the uh, uh, Chicago crime problem right. uh, doesn't mean we shouldn't be scared. <laughs> right, it, it, right, and of course, you know, if the masses are seething, uh, you, you know, there's going to be some, uh, there's going to be some, you know, they're going to work hard to right. try to uh, make, make total nuclear capabilities I, happen. To me, now, I, I don't I don't know how this all works, and I haven't done enough reading. But to me, always with the nukes that I was always have always been concerned with, isn't like ICBMs or whatever. It was always the to me the the scariest thing about terrorism would the be the dirty bomb. It would be yeah. what do we call the dirty bomb, whatever, or the uh, it could also be chemical weapons, you know, sure. and that's where you know if you get crazy terrorists of course if they're handling it they're gonna die too so you know and you get the crazies out there and that's always been my concern with right. that sort of thing but um but they do have these missiles and the big thing here is and, and earlier what is it, a couple days ago was it monday after the show uh they threatened guam so they officially north koreans threatened guam we're gonna target guam now guam is this small uh 30 mile island mm-hmm. is it Mm-hmm. And we've had a base there since, oh, my, uh, <laughs> since oh my. Well, 19th century. Yeah. Since after the Spanish-American War. Remember, um, we kind of took these places over after we kicked the Spaniards out. Right. Places like the Philippines, Guam, Hawaii, all these places. Cause the Spaniards had that Cuba, you know. Right. Down there. Mm-hmm. Anyway. What? Sorry. Um... So I'm looking for the masses are seething, and I got some uh, death metal band. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, 
And so, and certainly after World War II, uh, now Guam, yeah. the people in Guam. So we've, we've got, A, in Guam, we have the number one. This is interesting statistics. It's like 30 miles. It's a very small island. Yeah. We have... Uh, I can't remember how many troops we have there, but it's a lot. Yeah, there's. Uh, I saw a thing yesterday or the day before. How many thousands of people. 100, 168,000 American. Uh, oh, look of course, I, it's a U.S. protectorate and, and territory, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. everyone there is considered a U.S. citizen. Right, right. The people of Guam are U.S. citizens. Yeah, 168,000. Although they can't vote for president. Mm. They can't vote. Right. They don't have represent, But they are U.S. citizens. Yes. Go figure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and they have airstrips and bases there, and yeah. and it is the largest arsenal mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that we have. So there's stuff in the jungle, there's mm-hmm. ordnance, that's where it's all kept. Mm-hmm. So when these big ships come by and they send a ship out and they say, hey, go get some more bombs, we need some more bombs! They're coming to Guam. Running low. They go to Guam, they pick up bombs and so, stuff. So... Guam is literally the military Seven uh, Eleven, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. You feel it's, like a Slurpee. And it's a, a uh, weapons depot. Yeah. So, uh, so the North Koreans are like, hmm, maybe we'll bomb that. I mean, yeah. that's what they said. Well, yeah, all right. But the the big problem, the big problem with North Korea, I don't think is the United States. I don't think it's it's us. Guam. Uh, well, it's a military target. Uh, uh, like if you were on your Death Star, it's like uh, you suggest a military target. To yeah, <laughs> let's go bomb Tatooine. We're going to bomb Alderaan. Yeah, <laughs> it's peaceful there. No weapons there. You let's suggest do. a military target, an island that's thirty miles, for example, like Guam. Anyway, uh, where is the rebel base? Um. But the problem with the North Koreans is this. Mm-hmm. There's this... Well, there's Japan. Yeah. Which is close by. Sure. Uh, but there's South Korea, mm-hmm. which is close by. Yeah. And here's the deal. Seoul, South Korea, which is the capital of South Korea. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. A big, gigantic Asian city. Yes. Seoul. Mm-hmm. Uh, look. Look at this. See my phone? You like mm-hmm. my phone? Mm-hmm. Mm. From South Korea. Ah. It's made by a company called Samsung. Mm-hmm. Where is Samsung headquartered? South Korea. Ooh. What this one? I mean, I, all, yeah. you know, half the electronics that are in this room are made in South Korea. Mm-hmm. You know, there's either mm-hmm. Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, China, uh, some mainland China now. Sure. But 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 a lot of our Electronic and Samsung is a huge global company. Uh, yeah. Everyone has Samsung products. They make everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, they kind of—it's weird because in my lifetime, it was kind of first the Japanese made in Japan, right? And then made Jap- in China, and then well, then it really is made in Korea. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so that that means they have uh, fabrication places mm-hmm. there to make the chips. Yep. Uh, they made memory. They actually. Uh, Interestingly enough, the Koreans, Samsung, uh, flooded and totally years ago flipped the uh, memory market, computer mm. memory, mm. memory chips. Okay. It's a commodity market, right? Every, yeah. every electronics device needs that memory. And so, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a dog-eat-dog world. Mm-hmm. And these are chips, you know, complicated technology things. This isn't like chips like... You know, potato chips like throw yeah. some potatoes, oil, salt, chip. I right. mean, this is like photolithography, uh, clean room, mm-hmm. uh, wafers, manufacture chip. But right. still, there was there's been. I mean, the, the need for uh, computer memory yeah. is so huge, especially now because we carrying around phones and your refrigerator and all that stuff. Yeah. So there's a there's the Koreans, right? There you go. But the problem is, Seoul, South Korea, and I don't know how many millions of people live in Seoul, South Korea. It's, Ooh, it's, I, why yeah. you're, why you're, well, it's it's in the millions. Oh, okay, yeah. it's thirty miles from the DMZ. Yeah, which is a demilitarized zone. 
which is the no man zone between North Korea and South Korea. Now, where do you think all the artillery and the troops and uh, is North Korea have the largest standing army? One of the largest standing armies. Yeah, they claim to have a million men. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 one of the largest like armies people like invade with lots of people. Now, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of people anymore. Nine point eight six million people in Seoul, South Korea, as of two fifteen. Wow, out of, as of twenty fifteen. Yep. Yeah. So they're about to under a ten million people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. That's uh, that's L.A. right there, man. Yeah, yeah. I, and so, uh, so the problem we have with these nukes and military power and what would happen if something happened, yeah, would be our friends, yeah, in South Korea, yeah, Seoul, South Korea. You know, it would get ugly. Yeah, I mean, it, and and. Well, Certainly, they could probably send a nuke down south. Sure, the pro- yeah, but a lot of people don't re- realize this. Yeah. But uh, North Korea's modern artillery artillery technology, uh, they have guns uh, facing right now and that can hit Seoul, with, yeah. which is oh, yeah. with their regular artillery. Mm-hmm. I mean, the place in the event of any sort of outbreak of and that's hostilities. A lot. Would they get just literally pummeled? Right, and there's you know? ton- you're you're absolutely right. It doesn't even have to be nukes. Yeah, it could just be like there's tons and tons of ar- artillery yep. that the North has across the DMZ that's pointing directly at, at Seoul, South South Korea. Yeah, and that's just conventional artillery. Yep. Thirty miles is nothing for artillery. I mean, that's what like a, Not, a battleship nothing, or yeah. something or a destroyer can yeah. do with their big guns. You know, that's. Yeah. The north, the northern uh, area of Seoul, uh, is actually like twenty-seven or twenty-eight miles away. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, you know. So anyway, in this uh, really nice, uh, peaceful uh, <laughs> coffee with curmudgeons today, <laughs> right? Uh, we'll be getting out the global map, and uh, I, actually, I think you know what, Jason? Mm. I thought about this last night. I think I had a dream about this. We need uniforms. We do. Yeah, like school uniforms. No military uniforms. Ooh, call each other El Comandante. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like real, like Banana Republic sort of Maps stuff. Maps and uniforms. Yes, like the like the uh, we need the news box uniforms. The, like the like the ammo cross, mm-hmm. like bandoleros over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah everything. I want some of that. I know, right? News box. Yes, curmudgeons. The People's Republic of News Box. That's right. That's going to be next. P P R N B. Oh yes, we're going to raise a. Call each other comrade. An army of curmudgeons. That's what we're going to do. Oh. Uh, I, curmudgeon I, army. I, the, <sighs> everyone's got an army. I want a legion. Yeah. Legion of curmudgeons. You know. Like giving the old we'll Ro- to, Roman salute. We'll have you to know? work on your, your shorts. Your, your, your shorts uniform. Well, this is my tropical uniform. <laughs> I should have uniform. told you that there was a wide shot today. Yeah. <laughs> you come in with the shorts. Listen, I, this up. is this is my summer uh, undercover <laughs> uniform in case I have any like missions going into like Myanmar. Yeah. I'm just running in there and you know. Yeah. In Thanks, shorts. Doc, for letting me know you changed the camera angle. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like I'm behind a desk. I don't even have to wear pants. Right, right. But anyway, <laughs> and I often don't. Um, <laughs> well, you know, you got to be comfortable. After the show, Jason's like, oh, 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 hey. Yeah. Um, anyway. Oh, damn, man. Can you get the glare away from those white legs? Oh, man. Look at these gams. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> yeah. What is that, a deep? Sea ocean eel? No. Oh. Oh, okay. So uh, I know I can't help it. We're just uh, it's just a bad. Anyway, it's, it's Field Friday. Friday. Yeah. Uh, so there's all that. Yeah, and you don't even have to do nukes. They nope. can just fire off that stuff. Yeah. In conventional war. Yep. And because this... we've never been in a nuclear war, folks. Yeah. The only nuclear thing that ever happened in wartime was yeah. well, United States mm-hmm. ending. World War Two with a bang uh, at Hiroshima. Two bangs. Yeah, Hiroshima yeah. and Nagasaki. Yeah. That's the only time nukes have ever been used in wartime. Mm-hmm. The actual nuclear yeah. hydrogen bombs. Right. 
Um, Where were they at? I can't remember. But, they were atomic, uh, yeah. Yeah, but um, and then we did a lot of tests out in the atolls and all that. Bikini and atolls? Boy, man, I'll tell you what. Go up to YouTube and watch the videos of those. Oh, it's scary. And they would have um, uh, parties. Oh, yeah. Well, it, when we were doing tests in Nevada, before yeah. we took it out to the South Pacific. Sure. Uh People would book hotels like like the uh, uh, no kidding. I read about this. I couldn't mm-hmm. believe it. Uh, like the eclipse, mm-hmm. people would book hotels for a atomic viewing party. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Back yeah. in the days when no one were people were smoking and drinking six martinis, and the word fallout hadn't become uh, part of the uh, vocabulary. Right. Yeah. But of course, I I, yeah. I, I I talked about the Italian family. They grew up with, hey, 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 you know, mm-hmm. and and uh, Tony, Tony, you, the guy, you, the dad, forget about yeah. it. Yeah, uh, he would tell stories about when he was in the army and stationed, and they did the nuclear mm. tests, and he was one of those those <clears> guys <throat> where it's like, okay, put the glasses on, all right, wait for the hot wind, and you're like, oh. Don't stare at the burst. Stand behind the lead wall. Okay. Yeah. No, they would do that. They would. They would. If you you were in the army, you were stationed there, and you were because they wanted to see the effects. Oh. I mean, you got you wore goggles like like a solar eclipse, but yeah. Well, there's old bla- there's old black and white video footage uh, of them yeah. blowing up stuff down in the atolls, and literally, and you can see the outer ring of ships. <laughs> Just yes. observing, you know, like, really, you know, you're that close. Well, uh, yeah. the, the vi- I watched uh, some, I watched some atomic blast videos recently mm. on YouTube, and they 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 took old ships, derelicts, yes, and and uh, in one or a couple of the tests, they they put them, you know, they anchored them around the area. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of them was a, a nuclear test. What I mean, it's like at some point these guys were like, you know, they were like. What like, happens like, if... like when we were kids, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You'd like, oh, I built the Starship Enterprise. I built the Klingon Warbird. Hey, what would happen if we lit them on fire? And, <laughs> right. Ah, okay, let's try it. I mean, this is just... Let's military test men. durability. It's a boy thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and at one point they they put a nuke underwater, and they were like, "What would happen if a nuclear bomb went off underwater?" Right, and they, mm-hmm. it blows up, and they've got this wall of ships. They're abandoned. They're yes. old ships. Yeah, and it creates this tsunami, <laughs> this wall of water that basically capsizes, and it, these these yeah. old destroyers. Oh, this is fun. What do you mean Jenkins was still on board? He was supposed to get off there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You did not want to be on board. Right. That. So, uh, yeah. So there was tests. Go look at the tests. Sure. Um, but conventional. They could do this. Yep. All right. And then, of course, with their nukes, they could. They could. They don't really have to bomb. Well, they it, don't have to send something as complicated to Seattle or Chicago or whatever. Right. Yeah. But, uh, well, remember, there's a dirty and ugly thing nobody has even talked about yet. Nobody. People talk about nuclear, and then they talk about conventional. Folks, biological weapons. If you're in Seoul and they start thumping out some. Uh, yeah. I mean, that could turn, I mean, holy cow, how'd you like to see that on your 6 o'clock news? Yeah, because it's yeah. not a mushroom, <laughs> it's not a mushroom cloud, it's just people, you know. We need to bring it back, this is depressing. It is, it is. Oh, hey, there's there, there's another story out there that uh, kind of got unearthed a couple days ago that's interesting. Not as, not as, it's kind of, eh, but not as dire as, mm-hmm. okay. Have you heard about the... Uh, American and Canadian diplomats who are in Havana, Cuba, yes, I have been have. feeling yes, ill and I losing have. their hearing. Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, that's that that was on the radar as well. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. So uh, all I'm saying is we, we've got all this stuff going on. Sure, it's basically you know Japan, yep. South Korea, our neighbors. Yep, down there. And and they're they're in in easily in the target range have been for years, and. <clears throat> Even Australia a little bit. Yes, that, you know. yes. Uh, and so, so it's basically they're 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 playing this this little game. 
And the, the story, what I want to bring mm. back to so the story I've heard from, and the reason I was watching some crazy pants stuff on the internet <laughs> was yeah. there is former diplomats and people who were in actual CIA and diplomatic corps yeah. and people who are North Korean experts who held positions like that in our government for many, many years. Yeah. And I, those are the people I want to listen to, right? whether they're on whatever news outlet they may or may not be on. Mm-hmm. But they are like experts, written books and things. And I find it interesting that some of those folks aren't like right up front on MSNBC or CNN or, you know, the the places that they should be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting, right? Because, uh, well, there, there, there because are... if you, you know, if you sit here and say, hey, 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 Jason, yeah. could be war, could be stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. Lockheed Martin. Hey, Boeing. Hey, hey, you guys. Hey, 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 hey. What do we got to sell the South Koreans and the Japanese and everyone else to protect them? What kind of right. what kind of deal can we make for the protection money? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is, I'm sorry, but uh, okay, that's kind of the media kind of has been feeling that. <laughs> a lot. I, I just, really do. Just a, I just believe a tad. that. But anyway, these yeah. folks. Here's here's what I'm hearing from, and it's, and the sources are experts who have dealt with North Korea. Yeah. Actually, on the ground, ambassadors, CIA folks, they're all saying, "Don't worry, don't worry, be happy." Right. Uh, yeah. Vladimir Putin. No, uh, they're saying. Don't worry, there's not going to be a nuclear war. They 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 are convinced that the regime mm-hmm. and that even Un himself, mm-hmm. he's not going to pull that trigger. Because no. the moment the moment uh, hair head hair head yeah. pulls the trigger over there, his regime's over. He's done. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the moment someone uh, lights off a nuke, yeah, it's. it's I mean dumb. the the. Yeah. I guess I mean the United States would be like, uh, excuse me. You yeah, know. Yeah. Well, him, his grandfather, his father, and now yeah. him, their whole regime is predicated on the fact of survival. Yes. And, and you, this you're is not their gonna, survival. Yeah. They're, they're, it's really crappy. It's really <laughs> horrible. Yeah. It's a horrible survival. It's a horrible way to survive. But this, this but is, even you know e- even Crazy Pants knows that if he goes off half cocked, his, he's uh, done. He's done. Yeah. He's done. So what they're saying is it's just not going to be that. And China also. I yeah. mean, it, the last thing China is going to want or allow or anything is to have this guy launching nukes. In, in their neighborhood. In their, their, ba- neighborhood. their backyard. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. Yeah. Chinese, even the Russians, Putin, you know. no. Don't let it be hippie. Mm-hmm. No, one, hippie. no one wants that to happen. Right. Period. Which is interesting because we're seeing the Chinese voting yeah. against their buddies in North Korea. Yeah. Right? Even if they're going to slip in, which they will, the economics, they're still going to go. Hey, and they even, uh, I did see where the Chinese in one of their news outlets had warned North Korea, like a little knock it off. They kind of had a, a knock it off yeah. official knock it off. Yeah, knock it off. And that was it. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know what it was, but they basically <laughs> told them they yeah. should. They, they they said something to the United States and the United yeah. States shouldn't provoke and all this stuff. But in the last week, they also said to North Korea, hey, you guys, knock it off. Right. Uh, so th- that's not going to happen. I mean, the Chinese, that would be horrible for, for China. They'll yeah. survive, but uh, yeah, they don't want anything. It would directly jets. impact the economy. Well, yeah, and also health concerns too. I mean, no. do you really want a uh, a nuke lit off on your almost on your border region where jet streams? <laughs> nope. Flow. You don't. You don't want to do that. Well, they're, they're they're all mainly concerned with economic. Sure. Things. I yeah. mean, it, uh, you know, if the United States goes away. To, oh God, that's a horrible thought. <laughs> Jeez, Doc, you're all, happy Friday. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. I mean, it, you know, if you if you ended the American economy and trade with China, mm. China would be up the Yangtze River without a paddle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, it would be right. Yeah. Trading partner, money. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so all the experts are like. 
not going to happen. This is all a negotiating posture. Sure. Now, the interesting aspect after an hour of talking about this, okay. what I heard, which is I thought was interesting from some of these, and I, they are legitimate experts. Look, them, I've Wikipedia'd these folks. Yeah. I mean, doesn't matter where I saw them, what outlet. It was like, no, I went there to go hear what they had to say, and then Wikipedia their who they are, and these are people who hell who have status. Sure. Um, doesn't matter if the host is a crackpot or whatever. Yeah. You know, and yeah, they're crackpots, but uh, interestingly enough, what they're talking about is that. Trump, the president, and he he had this quote. What it was about fire and brimstone? I don't know what it was. Fire and, and fury, and that's what fire and fury, and that's what hit the the news media. And they said that's actually a message to the Chinese and not North Korea. Right. That's what I'm hearing. That that we're message, losing our patience. You better you know. Yeah. Ex- hey, ex- China. Exert China. China. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly right. So that's what you're hearing from the yeah. other outlets, too, right? Yeah. Is that it's like North Korea, we could go, hey, F you guys. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, yeah. what, who, what are you going to tell them, right? Well, right. I mean, Kim Jong-un specifically. Right. But the, that's a message to China that, like, oh, we're, we're kind of done with this. We're, we're done with the rockets and the nuclear testing. We've been playing this game for long enough. We went in. We did the sanctions. And part of it is China. What you are not hearing on CNN and all the mainstream things mm-hmm. is China and India. <laughs> yeah, they, folks, they get a wee problem. Remember, they have a border. Yeah, and they're like, well, uh, uh, actually, one of these guys basically said, no, they're at war. They're they're battling, they're battling uh, over a province, a, a little country, a little strip of land, mm-hmm. and I can't remember what it's called. Sorry, I should have looked it up. But um, yeah, I'm on, I'm only used to. to uh, uh, you saw it in the uh, in, India Pakistan, you know the Kashmir region. But this I, is China I, I don't and know, India. Yeah, I don't know the uh, geography of the border between a. Uh, um, uh, the People's Republic of China. Well, there's a standoff. There in is. Fact, if you, if, in fact, if you type in China space India in Google, the next suggestion is war. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, China, two days ago, China media and official both issue strong warnings on war with India. Mm-hmm. China and India on brink of armed conflict over border dispute. Are China and India on the brink of war? So the Sino-Indian... So this is actually... uh, Will China and India go to war over this tiny 12-mile strip of land? So this is actually the thing to see. Yep. Because supposedly... Our message... And and India is... They're kind of of our allies. They're basically our allies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Here and there. Yep. I mean, they—they they, if I if I recall, at one point they were getting back in the day they were getting Soviet tech, I think, like military. India? Yeah, back in the back in the day they were kind of playing a, a little bit, but the U.S. did a pretty good job of boxing the Soviets out. Yeah, yeah. Of, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, what I what scares me uh, even more about the India China situation. Is that I mean? Think about this. I I I don't really take it all that seriously, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. Uh, I'm worried about a uh, quid pro quo. Mm-hmm. You know, we will look the other way uh, if you have to deal with North Korea. If you agree to look the other way, that we're gonna deal with India. Yeah. Over yeah. that. Then and if you don't think uh, Agent Orange would leap on well, that in a New York, you know, a New York second, he would. Well. You know, I mean, hell, he 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 thanked he thanked Putin for uh, kicking out seven hundred and fifty five yeah uh, diplomats out of the country. I want to thank him for doing that because it lowers our payrolls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so actually, anyway. I, I, I've got it right here. Uh, uh, this is on foreignpolicy dot com. It, it's called Bhutan. Is the name of the little ah. country? China and India share more than two thousand miles. B h u t a n. That is correct. There you go. You win the spelling bee. Thank you. 
Uh, China and India share more than 2,000 miles of border, but it's a slim corridor just 12 miles across at its narrowest point and mm-hmm. a nearby nugget of disputed territory that has the nuclear-armed neighbors at each other's throat. That's the key, because China, mm-hmm. they've got ICBMs. They've yep. got all, all the goodies, Yep, just like Russia, yep. just like the United States, and India. Yeah. Uh, when did they go nuclear? Was it in the... Early seventies, I yep. want to say. Early mid seventies, they went nuclear. And then, uh-huh. and and uh, like in our when we were kids, mm-hmm. growing up, it was like, hey, oh, you know, Walter Cronkite. And by the way, India's gone nuclear. What right. it was, what it is. Good luck. What it shall <laughs> yeah. be. And then the next day he comes on and goes, hi, Walter Cronkite. An update to that India going nuclear story. Pakistan has gone nuclear. My, you know, what could possibly go wrong? You know, I mean, that was pretty much Walter Cronkite. We were like, <laughs> back to as the world turns. No, it was back to, uh, back to part two of the day after. Um, <laughs> right. right. Which is yeah. on another network, surprisingly. Uh, uh, the day after being a famous. Yeah. Uh, made for TV movie about nuclear war. I was, like, I was going to go to the TV version of On the Beach. Yeah. No, day after. Day right, after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Directed by Nicholas Meyer. Wow. Of the Wrath of Khan. That is true. Yeah. And Undiscovered Country, too. Yep. Yes. I didn't know that. I was like, when it was like, oh, Interesting, wow. Interesting, yeah. Really? He directed, well, no wonder. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to I want to rewatch that at some point. But, folks, it was back when we had three networks on television. We were kids. We watched this uh, uh, made-for-TV movie, and pretty much uh, we just, yeah. you know, scared soiled the, ourselves. Scared and, the pants off of it. Yeah, because yeah. it was literally like, what would happen if we got in a nuclear war? What would happen if you were sitting in Iowa and all of a sudden your town blew up? Right. It was like, oh, man, that was some scary crap. Uh, okay, so the nearby nugget. So on June 16th, Chinese troops began extended a border road into the Doklam Plateau, a tiny piece of land claimed by both China and Bhutan, but not India. Bhutan then called on India to intervene, <laughs> intervene and block the road. It's always these little guys, right? Yeah. It's always like, you know. I'm going to get my big brother. I, I still, I still yeah. think, I still think... Jason, I still mm. think the Oak Grove border dispute could bring us on the brink of World War Three. There is, um, you know, there is a huge dispute going over uh, mm-hmm. between. It's actually between Oak Grove and Gladstone. Okay? Yeah, yep. Uh, there is a border region that peace. is in hot dispute. It's called Jennings Lodge. Oh my God! And for years, Gladstone has claimed, "Well, we're kind of annexing Jennings Lodge," whereas the uh, People's Republic of Oak Grove, they've said, "No, Jennings Lodge is a part of the Greater uh, Oak Grove Protectorate," and uh, their their tensions are high, folks. I mean, they're I mean, the border is manned twenty four seven. We got machine gun nests. We've got everything, you know. Uh, this so is DMZ. There is a D. There's a DMZ. I'm you. And it's it's along uh, a Jennings Avenue. There could right this there. could bring us on the brink of total war. It could this Oak Grove. Right, things are escalating. Situation. Things are sliding. It's just in. a strip of land. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So anyway, so that's uh, two nuclear powers. <laughs> yes. Strip of land yes. on their border, and uh, there's tanks. There's also and 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 again, these people are like uh, the headlines are like, well, it's kind of war already. They're kind of like, I I don't know. I hmm, I'm not so sure. I think they're still like you know. That thing you do in war where it's like, I dance over here. Oh, really? Yeah. And you look through binoculars like, look at me dance over here. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, that uncomfortable yeah. high school dance that you do at war where it's like, do you like me? Do you like this tank? Right. Do you like this, that, these missiles? That, do you, you know. Uh, mm, you know? The, one of the uh, few huge, really, I mean, the go-to people, right? Mm-hmm. Uh young lady uh last name of terry she headed the she was a part of the national security council and she was chief in charge of east asia the you know east asia area and the korean peninsula and last night she was on rachel maddow 
And so, okay, I'm going to tune in, right? So they're yes. actually talking about it yeah. on MSNBC. Yes. and Good she, for And, of course, MSNBC. One, one of the first questions Rachel Maddow asked was, how close are we by your estimation? And, uh, you know, that she's former CIA, she's former NSC, I mean, mm-hmm. serious cred. And she said something that made a lot of sense to me that I just didn't think about. She's like, well, you know, it is worrying that a lot of this bravado is going back and forth. And it seems like it's the verbal, you know, before a a child fight, you know, the give and take insults or whatever. But she said the real warning sign to look out for is if uh, U.S. military starts taking the dependents and uh, contractors out if they mm-hmm. start if they start uh, sending the dependents of the uh, of the American soldiers over there if they start getting them out of the way that's when you know uh, things have taken a serious you know even mm-hmm. more serious than what it is now turn and I thought about it, I said yeah that, that that's very true I, I for, I'd totally forgotten all that because one of the warning signs is they, they're getting family and friends out you know get out of Dodge now where you know hostilities are about to commence and uh, that's so if you're wondering what's going on with the Korean you're worried that there's going to be some exchange of uh, uh, you know and there nuclear was, fire yeah well I mean there were there was um, in 1962. Yeah, there was an uh, in uh, the India China. What do they call it? The Indo India China War of 62. S- Sino. Uh, the Sino. Yes, the Sino. Yeah. Uh, um, Sino Indian. And so that was conflict. during Kennedy. Yeah. So they had a conflict. So they were. Mm-mm, but that yeah. kind of shook out. And then in 67, they kind of they had a little skirmish 67 was 67 was a rough year man and remember remember this Israel is, well this is still issues. i mean 62 67 yeah. we're talking the height 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 of the cold war yeah right so yeah. china's still like what under mao uh yeah no. 67 yeah they're, still, they're mao, still under mao uh uh and 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 heavy heavily heavily communist yeah, there in China. I, I mean, that's that was the uniform wearing Red Star yeah. uh, People's Republic of China. Sixty-seven, I mean, the year of Tet too. Yeah. Tet so, yeah. oh gosh, we're not um, even we're not can't go there, but yeah, uh, but I mean, think of there's a lot of a lot of heat, and and everyone's got nukes. Yep, yeah, the Israelis. Uh, yeah, it was a just a a yeah. really. I mean, people think today today that things were tense today yeah 67 things were yeah read some folks read some history books <laughs> well, about that's 67 what we're, giving you today. Yeah. we're giving you the happy 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 history <laughs> happy history with dr <laughs> happy, jason hey happy no but that's a great example yeah. of a time god 62 67 yeah holy smokes and 67 like you said like we're in vietnam fighting that Proxy? Well, it's not even a proxy war. We're we're, no, in, we're, we're in direct conflict in '67, um, yeah. and and you know we're essentially fighting the Chinese. Yep, tons of discord at home. You Chinese. know, summer of love '67. Mm-hmm. So you had you know not yep. only domestic disturbances with counterculture. That's uh, right. Protests, but I mean the whole world. Why do you think 2017 is like the 1967 of uh, of the 21st century? Jury's still out on that one. Jason's no, thinking, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. It's because uh, we haven't... We're not quite there Well, yet. if we stepped in, let's say uh, the South and the North started like just flinging shells across the border. Not a full-fledged war, but at, at skirmish level, I guess. Yeah. And we went in and led more active, then yeah, I'd say we're close to 67. Right. Uh, but, but mom, I tuned into their show because there's these two old guys that tell right. funny stories from the past, and they're funny about it. They're funny about it, but they say some really dark things, and I get no, depressed. I'm really sad. Yeah, it, it, our show is actually more lively and funny. Yeah, uh, it really is. Trust me. Keep tuning in, or watch. <laughs> trust, go to YouTube or trust subscribe us. to the podcast. We're funny. Right. We, we we do. Sticks like Jenkins. Look that up. And, right. And, and all sorts of things about the Boy Scouts and stuff. Yeah, we, Just not today. <laughs> we make the Boy Scouts funny. Today we're, yeah. we're um, yeah. I was looking here. Uh, the 
president mm -hmm. uh, retweeted the U.S. Pacific Command. Mm -hmm. That's the top of his Twitter. USAF B-1B Lancer Bomber. Mm -hmm. That's the one I actually made the model of this when mm. I was a kid. That's mm -hmm. the one with the the uh, um, supersonic bomber. It mm -hmm. was supposed to be kind of a replacement for B-52, although B-52. The B-1B, yes. Yeah. And it has the the the, uh, the, 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 the wings mm -hmm. go back. Mm -hmm. Like it goes mm -hmm. forward and goes back. I actually saw one in an air show once. Uh, bombers on Guam stand ready to fulfill USFK's fight tonight. This is a hashtag fight tonight mission. If called upon to do so, go USA, go blah, 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 blah. Fight tonight? Really? Yeah. It's it, not that much different from their regular, uh, stance. Uh, well, I mean, you don't want the military to go, oh, crap, right? right? I mean, I guess you do want the military to be all like, you know, -ah, rah, 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 rah. we're ready. Right. But, you know, oh, I'm, I'll show it to you, though. The, the misleading... Uh, here it is, right here. Right. That's it. You the misleading thing, though, about that is uh, they are Fight already tonight. been on that pretty much. Fight tonight hashtag. What is that? So there's your B-1Bs. There's, there's actually flying over the ocean, and there they are, and... Yeah. There they are, kind of supersonic. Right. They're about ready to drop a load on a renegade school of fish right there. Fight tonight. Beat the Any ocean into Trumper submission. Any pro using fight tonight hashtag should be first ones drafted and sent to Pacific bases, bypassing boot camp because they seem ready. Breaking. Oh, look at this. Two hours ago. Hashtag breaking. I, I'm just giving you presidential tweets here. Yeah. Oh, no. This is Bigly Prez. Nah, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Bigly. Never mind. Bigly. Never mind. Bigly Fake Prez news. talks about China. Fake news. Um, so, yeah. What else? So, fight tonight. Mm-hmm. That's, that's just that's kind of creepy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fox and Friends, he retweeted Fox and Friends. Trump's fires new warning shot at McConnell, leaves door open on whether he should step down. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, we, that's what was happening domestically. Uh, Fox and Friends, senators learn the hard way about the fallout from turning on Trump. This is all retweets that Trump is... Senators learn the hard way. Yeah. Well, you know... Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Trump approval rate rebounds... 45% surges among Hispanics union union homes men. Mm-hmm. Hispanics union homes men. That's in quotes, and that is actually tweeted by We need commas Trump. in there, folks. Commas. Ivanka Trump will lead the U.S. delegation to India this fall, supporting wow. women's entrepreneurship. And is, well, if, if India is not, like, you know. Right. And a big ash heap? Yeah. No, it's not going to be. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I'm that sorry, was I was getting, a little, I was getting cool. a little dark. I know yeah. we 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 were sliding there, and I just you know no slippery slope, horrible. folks. That was horrible. <laughs> if, you mean if, if uh, Mumbai isn't a glowing? No, uh, God, no, uh, God, that's horrible. Sorry. Uh, one day ago, famously, Mitch get back to work and put repeal and replace tax reform and cuts and a great infrastructure bill on my desk by signing. You can do it. That was the big. You uh, can do it. That was the big tweet yesterday from Trump, uh, him and Mitch McConnell, going after the Republicans. Yep. Divide and conquer. But anyway. Well, yeah, it all stemmed after uh, McConnell was back in Kentucky giving a, uh, a uh, speech. And he had uh, said that, well, you know, this is, uh, you know, Trump is new to this. You know, he's not used to this line of work. He doesn't understand that uh, democracy is a slow-moving, you know, Mm -hmm. Leg you know, legislation and democracy is a slow moving process and then Trump fired back with uh, you know because he, he was accused of having excessive uh, you know expectations and and so Trump shoots back expect you know e uh, expectations I'm not the guy that promised repeal and play you know replace for seven years and yet nothing was done right and so they McConnell and Trump have been kind of this tit for tat a little bit. And uh, yeah, you know. So the yeah, so the big tweet uh, at four a.m. Yeah, that I mean, it was military solutions yeah. are now fully in place, locked and loaded. Should North Korea act unwisely, hopefully King Kim Jong Un would find another path. So that was the can Trump's I, tweet this morning. Can I use another uh, gun cliche? 
Sure. Okay. Gun cliche number one. Hey, we may be locked and loaded, but president, don't you go off half cocked. Mm-hmm. That was my cliche number two right there for you. So, uh, not to change subjects so swiftly, but let's do it. Okay. Excellent. segue. This Taylor Swift thing. Yes. It's heating up. She took the stand yesterday. I know. Yeah. So, so the deal is, yeah. this jerk <laughs> grabs her butt. Groped her, yeah. Groped Taylor Swift. Yeah. And she's like, they're in court. They're like, uh, and she took the stand yesterday yeah. and testified against him. Yeah. That's boorish behavior, to say the least. Yeah, I... I, I Taylor I, Swift, I like Taylor Swift. She's a, I'm, I'm she's a, a feisty lass. I'm a Taylor Swift. I'm team... You're Team, team. Swift? Yep. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. No, she's a she's she's a uh she has created this career and and whatnot on her own terms and started off the country lady and and uh mm-hmm. um and you know you know what I liked I saw this thing about her and she would do these things for her fans like mm. Christmas time or whatever yeah. like literally would show up at people's doors and give them a gift or whatever or someone you know was having a bad time around the holidays or whatever and yeah Taylor Swift would go yeah. meet them and you know I don't know give them a Christmas know, fans right you I know mean, I know she gets a lot of bad rap from the paparazzi about her failed relationships oh. and stuff but who doesn't have failed relationships right. but you hear you hear good stuff about her doing just altruistic yeah. things and and being you know generally kind of being so a nice DJ, person dude, like they show up and 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 you know they have witnesses and whatnot and it's like yeah he who did, does that he did it in front of God and everybody who does that I don't know but I there's you reports just like walk up and yeah but there's, mean, there's reports from people who know the guy that say the guy's a real piece of work yeah you know that yeah he can totally you know the I, quote I saw was like some guy he goes uh, yeah I can totally believe this guy is getting you know. Is brought up on harassment charges. It's well, kind of in this. It's it's in this guy's wheelhouse, you know. Yeah, I mean, so there so you Taylor go. Taylor Swift. So, yeah. Taylor Swift. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Team Taylor. Good. <laughs> Ho- hopefully, she uh, uh, comes through on top on this, and uh, she will. And I, you know. Yeah. Yeah, she's and there's a, I, I think because uh, there's the thing about it is that she's been kind of out of the limelight lately yeah and people and she's been, getting ready to come back into it she's releasing an album worry, here. well maybe yeah. this is part of the reason yeah you know i don't know you, so you, you know you're right i don't know yeah i mean it's, yeah. take a break yeah it's cool i mean i i don't think she needs the the money no. so to speak she's pretty successful so. no it's, it's a downtime a she's she uh i believe at the end of august or the very beginning of september uh she's releasing an album first one she's released and uh, no, 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 no! First one, she's she's she, I was thinking of Pink. She's released, really releasing an album too around the same time. And uh, but yeah. I so mean, in other wonderful, wonderful news, news between. Oh sure. Yeah. So the other thing that blew up was Google. Google, 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 Google. They suspended a. Uh, didn't they suspend? No, they a, fired. Yeah. No, I so, mean, they were going to hold some sort of... Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, I sent you that, actually. Yeah. So this guy, James Damore, who was an employee of Google, wrote this infamous memo. I think they posted it on their internal website. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm trying to... I didn't read it, okay? I just read the headlines and all that, because it was just... I, for me, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, more of the, the same. But basically, this young... <laughs> this young misdirected fellow <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it goes to show that you know software engineers aren't the most uh, uh, what what should we say worldly folks you know <laughs> <laughs> like yeah you know you may be good at software but maybe not anything else uh, he wrote this memo and 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 basically yeah. what was the the gist the, of the this. The gist of it? Oh, boy. Uh, he t- he touched on a few things. One of them was... Uh, girls can't jump. I mean, it was gr- basically yeah, like, girls was one of those, right? Yeah, girls shouldn't be in the tech industry. Mm. Uh, 
because I don't think it was that strong. No, it was. Think, it literally was. Oh, one did of things, you read it? One okay, of the things. Yeah, one, of, one like, of his suppositions was he didn't believe that women should be in tech industry at an executive level. That they yeah. had a different psychological yeah, yeah. and molecular makeup. Yeah, 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 okay. You know, it's sort of crap like that. Oh yeah. yeah. Next stop. Yeah. yeah. Germany, nineteen thirty-eight. Right. <laughs> Same. Right. Yeah, I mean, he's he's just a young. I mean, where you know? I'll say it. it he, I'll it, say it. He's a young douche. Yeah, I mean, it's like <laughs> uh, get an education. You yeah. know, get worldly. Go out there. Yeah. You know, you're too much code code. I, I I think that's part of the problem. Mm. I really do. I think that's part of the problem in the U.S. Uh, and and it's so funny because I've been a technologist. Yeah. Most my entire life. Yeah. Adult life. I've been a technologist. I've been which means technology and software and rah rah, we're gonna change the world and we yeah. have. But I'm also you know, I'm not a Luddite, but I'm also kinda like, uh, we're a little too much here and here and here and we need to expand our horizons a little bit and think gotcha. a little bit and think about humanity and stuff. Because yeah. you're gonna be chasing the code. All day, uh, you know. You know, technology it moves so quickly. Like being a uh, actual software developer, yeah, was writing code. Every year or two, the whole code framework, everything changes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, and actually, sometimes it's changed. Well, I, I don't know about software, but uh, the end. Don't get me started. The end user gets lost in the mix. Right. And Google is a good example of this. Mm -hmm. Like the other day, I updated my Mac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I use the Final Cut for all the editing. Sure. So I updated the Mac to the latest. You know, I skip updates. And and that's a good thing because I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll hold off. And this is all stable. So I've been updating, right? right? We were updating over here. Yeah. Um, and then we have to test it to make sure it's all going to work. So I updated my Mac, and I ended up updating the, the editing software. Guess yeah. what? The interface totally oh, changed. Totally it's like, yeah. where is everything now? Mm -hmm. Why did we change it? Right. Because I was click, click, clickety, click here, and now you moved everything around. It's a okay? comfort factor, right? You get used to it. Like, uh... But that's you're doing real work. Yeah. Your users are doing actual real work, right? Day to day basis, and it's one thing to change things here, but if you're doing actual work and all of a sudden it's like we've changed everything, enjoy, and it's like wait a minute, I was productive. Yeah, you're running searches user. just to find what you had before, so you exactly. Can, you and know. so yesterday afternoon, yeah. I spent a little time in my Final Cut interface to see where in the hell everything moved to, <laughs> right. And it was okay. It was like, oh, this icon, it used to be here. Now it's up over here. Uh, why? I don't know why. It was so convenient to have it all down here. But now they've moved three of them here, four of them here, four. I mean, like, who's yeah. the guy who made that decision? I would like to go to Apple and go, sit down and go, what was your thinking? Yeah. It's like, well, it's so much more logical. Yeah, but you know what? It was all over here. And and, right. and and people say, well, there's user testing, there's user experience testing and all that. Uh, they always say that they, there are people who are user experience yeah. people, and that's testing. I think the technology is moving so fast. Like Google, Apple, they're just like, eh. Light speed, Just man. throw it out there. Yeah. I mean, and, and Apple does it. Google does it. Right? Yeah. I keep getting messages. Try the new YouTube. It's like I don't know, man. I'm just trying to upload someone's videos. For I'm them. always clicking on that. Not now because I, yeah. I don't want to go down that rabbit yeah. hole yet. Right. Oh, it'll be bad. Well, I'll be like some client thing, and it'll be right. like I'm just gonna upload these videos so, to their YouTube channel. Then it'll be like we've changed everything. <laughs> right. So let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you think sometimes software? Uh, companies or whatever firmware software take mm -hmm. your pick. Do you think sometimes that they come out with a quote unquote air quote update, not because there's something really to update that's fundamentally updated, but do you think it's somehow like uh, like hey look at us over here you know sa sales are stagnant but look we're updating and hey oh wow they an update I gotta check this out just for you know the focus back yes. on them. 
Yes. Because you're right. When they're moving icons around. There you go. Yes. There you go. Now I know, and knowing's (laughs) half the battle. And that, and that's you know what that's yeah. nothing new. No, that actually has been going on for quite some time in the time software and world. Memorial? It mm-hmm. was called. Uh, I um, I worked for a great old homegrown company, mm-hmm. software company, old back in the early days of software mm-hmm. here in Oregon, and they were a great old company. Uh, of does which it, does it start with a T? Mm, uh, not exactly. But oh, I'm sort thinking of. of Tech oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, I'm talking software. Purely software oh, company. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Um, gotcha. And they were actually named after a, a, a small little town in southeastern Oregon or south Oregon or whatever. But mm. uh, they were a great old company. And yep. they got bought out by their big, big competitor at some point, yeah. which was sad. Uh, real homegrown family God, company. you got to tell me. I, I, met, don't... I met people. I'll tell you offline. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, but anyway, I worked for this company, and and it w- there's a cycle. So And we did actually put new features in and do mm-hmm. things. But, uh, for example, and this was – see, this doesn't happen so much anymore with the Internet. But this was when you would buy a box of software. You'd mm-hmm. go to your – your whatever fries, Buzz, Best Buy, fry, whatever, and yeah. you buy a new box of software. Yeah. So you would have the back to school update. Uh, so you'd be working actually all summer. Yeah. To get this update out mm. in the fall. Yeah. Because it would be back to school, which was kind of back to business. You know, businesses would come back after the summer. Sure. Upgrade their software. School, yeah, maybe so much, and through the holidays. Gotcha. And that's how the software cycle worked. Okay. So that was huge. The fall software release was huge. That was your big. That was probably your big software words. Everyone would scramble, mm. scramble, scramble. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah. And actually, that happened uh, at other big tech companies as well that I've been involved with. And that was hardware Actually. and software. Yeah. So that would be your your cycles. And then there was kind of a cycle after the holidays, kind of going into the year the new year, the first mm-hmm. quarter or whatever. But that was a big cycle. But now with the internet, with Google and that, they just push out. It's it's constant updates, right? It's mm-hmm. always, you know, you're, uh, it used to be we'd beta test, 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 okay, it's solid, release. That mentality is gone. Yeah. And so it's just always release. And Google's uh, one of the companies that kind of innovated that idea, mm. right? Famously, Gmail was mm. always Gmail marked with beta yeah, for years and years and years. They just took that off uh, not too long ago, a few years ago. They took the oh. beta off of Gmail. Now they don't even care. I'm, now I'm it's just they... stupid. Why even put beta on something? Right. Right? It, it doesn't even matter. Anymore. Yeah, beta this... means nothing anymore. Right, because usually if you – well, that and – Beta means it's not fully tested. Right. And, and, and I don't even think we have that distinction anymore. No. So anyway, so this guy thinks that uh, girls can't code or something. I don't know. Yeah, and they're, and they're not good in the uh, quote unquote boardroom yeah. of uh, so technology. This, this goes out. This this is on their internal. They're in their internal yeah. message discussion boards and whatnot. Their intranet. And then it goes out. Into the world, of course. Yeah. Because if you're going to write something like that, anytime you put something down in print, and by print I mean email, post on a tweet, yeah. post any anytime typey, 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 and it's there, Yeah. it's there forever. Oh, yeah. It's going out. Yeah. So we said, like, if, if you <laughs> – one company that was famously a pretty big giant company that – you know, had antitrust things and whatever. They would have a training that was like, uh, yeah, if you don't ever want to read about your email in court, <laughs> maybe don't put it in your email. <laughs> it's right. like, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, so this guy does that, and a day or two later, he's fired. Because the CEO comes out and says, uh, yeah. that's not our values. Yeah. And uh, Business Insider has the headline uh, two hours ago, James Damore has an above decent chance of winning his legal case against Google, so he he will take Google, and he might he'll probably settle out of court. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, 
He's, be one. He'll probably cash out on this. There'll be one hell of a severance package. Yeah. Oh huh. yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He'll he'll get he'll get money. Mm. I wonder if people will. Oh, I wonder. That that might be an interesting trend. Mm. Like if people do stuff oh. like this and then start suing, then Buy. to get fired. Buy me be, off. And then yeah. because this is like a free. Sp- Speech kind of thing. Now, yeah. I was always told in the corporate environment, you know, when you work for the company, you don't exactly have free speech. I mean, you have your free political ideas and stuff like that. But the the stuff you'd sign in the corporate environment, yeah. one of the clauses would be, you don't make the company you work for look bad. Sport, sports you know? has the same thing. Conduct. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's what they, right. What's the official? What the, the con, uh, con, uh, detrimental to the team mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Conduct and yeah. So yeah, a, lo- a lot of companies have that. If Which you, they nailed if someone you, recently on that. If you hurt the public image of our company, you. you yeah. 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 So. Yes. Um, right. So there's that. Yeah. But. But, uh, that is interesting, though, if that is a trend, if that will become a trend. People that want out that can give, make big money just simply say something stupid. Well, I, I don't think I don't think he, you know, he he didn't use bad language or anything like that. He just uh, floated his ideas. Think he was sincere? That that's what he really thinks? And oops, <laughs> I got my hand in a cookie jar. Was this? Yeah, I think so. You know, I could say I think so. Yeah. I think he was sincere, actually. Okay. I mean, most of these guys, it's like they, they, their heads are so full of Adderall. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, no. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no. Sorry. Don't sue me, too. Uh, this hour I'm sponsored not, by. I'm not suggesting yeah. that Mr. Damor. Um, <laughs> no. No, no. You has just, been over-prescribed in the big pharma world. Uh, part just, of what's wrong with millennials. But you anyway. were you were uh, satirically generalizing mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. That's what we'll call it. Don't get me started on what we got all our kids hooked on. That's made this world crazy. But right. anyway, so uh, yeah, so or, or so the kids that, say it's, cray it's cray. interestingly enough. Yeah. That, yeah, you're right. Maybe maybe. Uh, Maybe that's uh, the thing. So then the mm. other then the other shoe that dropped is they uh, uh, the Google CEO. So Google, okay, so they reorganized Google mm-hmm. a while back. Mm-hmm. Google is actually the main company is called Alphabet. Mm, I mean, yes. it's, it's 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 weird. We still think of it as Google. So there's Alphabet. Yeah, and Alphabet then, was the start startup company that launched. A further vehicle that is now known as Google, right? No, 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 no. I don't know. So they're not like the company that... No, I think they created Alphabet as the umbrella company for Google, Ah, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Google is the the company, but they wanted to create Alphabet because they had uh, Google, right? Mm -hmm. As we know Google with all of Google software and everything. Sure. And then they had the driving cars and Uh, the robots. Okay. Which they sold the robots off. The, the the military and those mm-hmm. robots they actually I, I think they closed that deal they were selling that off they bought Boston Dynamics or whatever big oh, yeah. th- those are the weird cheetah military robots that you see chasing people down you're like oh holy heck we're in the future now real this is DARPA new. stuff yeah no real yeah. DARPA stuff but they also have the self driving they've been doing the self driving cars right. and right. I don't know what else Google's been doing but anyway so they created Alphabet umbrella company and then google is alphabet and uh and partly like larry page you know the guys who started google are like kind of up there in the alphabet and then they i think at the same time they they named this guy uh cinder mm-hmm. um i just had his name right here and now it went away because it refreshed so sorry <laughs> anyway the ceo of google yeah uh so he was gonna have a town hall okay mm-hmm uh, which is get the employees together and have a discussion about this good idea. Yeah. Then he canceled it. And he canceled it because uh, employees were calling it, you know, women. Yeah. Certainly. And other uh, mm-hmm. transgender uh, employees and other people have been targeted publicly since this guy. Uh, like on 4chan and Reddit, they've actually Mm. taken the profiles of employees and publicly posted them. And then, you know, 
for not good reasons. Yeah. And so they said, hey, we're feeling threatened here, and we're feeling threatened if we say anything at this town hall, which is supposed to be an open town hall. What you say is like an open discussion. Exchange. You know, let's yeah. talk. I mean, it, it, CEO's idea is really good. That's the thing to do. Yeah. So he had to cancel it. Mm. So this is this is some. I mean, and this is happening to a company to Google. Yeah. So that's that's some heavy stuff going on over there. There is, yeah. You know, I, I, I mean, that's threatening. I, I who knows what internal, direction within the internal operations of a yeah. company. And of course, the uh, the response, uh, the public response was, there's this uh, this uh, a woman who had just recently uh, joined Google. I want to say she was from Microsoft or somewhere. I mean, mm-hmm. she's an industry executive, yeah. and she is like the the human resources diversity executive. She's executive level, and she had actually responded to this publicly and uh, internally. Yeah. But uh, wow, man! I don't know where this. I don't know where this is going to go. Right. Not good. Not good. And there's a thing called company culture that you have in these large companies. I know because <laughs> I was mm-hmm. in a company culture. Yeah. And again, in that company, which will remain nameless, but uh, you would know the company if I said sure. who they were. Yeah. Gotcha. You'd like, oh, I know who they are. Big tech company. Like they had company culture, and here's the values, and here's the company culture, and and they were very adamant about this kind of stuff. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. I would never imagine, you know, like yeah. this does not fly here in company culture. And you're t- talking uh, this company, multi-billion-dollar company, international company, yeah, meaning, uh, you know, people from all cultures, religions, everywhere. Yeah. All working together. Yeah. Um so yeah. You know, but it was a tech company too. They had they had a yeah. uh, they also had issues with uh you know, the makeup of engineers and that sort of thing with uh, uh males versus females, that kind of thing, like yeah. all tech does. So Yeah. If they have strong leadership at the board level uh, I imagine it will go as far as this is who we are, this is what we stand for. If you are intolerant or whatever, uh, this is what you can expect. I think Google. And I then, think Google's a little. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I don't know what Google's culture is, and that's that's the whole thing, you know. Uh, of course, do I think, don't. I've never worked for Google, right. so I. Well, do you I think it's because they're too big? That they're just a big, a big amorphous. I don't know. This company diverse, I worked for was you know. pretty dang big. We're talking a yeah. couple hundred k yeah. employees, you know. Yeah. And the culture, but you know hmm. that uh, I, I think you have to be really. Uh, uh, it's almost. I don't want to. S- I'm gonna say it, and I'm not. I don't really mean almost militaristic. Like, like when you join the military, you're like, I'm signing up, and we have this culture, right? Yeah, and yeah. this is the culture in the military. I mean, uh, you no, know, I, like the I, Marines would always say, yeah. you know, uh, you may be somebody here or there or whatever, but once you sign up, you're now a Marine, right? And that's a whole different deal. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't mean it to be that. I have my issues with that kind of organization mm-hmm. i mean it, it it in some ways maybe it is good creates order in these kind of situations in yeah. other ways it's kind of like mm, uh, individuality and it's a little bit creepy yeah so it's it's all a part of a, a corporate structure that uh that guides you to always promote corporate values Mm-hmm. This is who we are. This is what we, like I said for. this is who we are. Right. This is what we stand for. If you have these sort of views, you can expect this to happen. To, it, you know, we don't truck you, with that, you know. This might be growing pains. Huh? I mean, for Google, if you really think. I mean, Google has expanded. I mean, it, they've been big for quite some time. But yeah. this might be like kind of like a, ooh, now we're really in the big leagues. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Again, I don't well, know what they what their culture yeah. is. Well, because that leads me to my next question is, is how prevalent is that 
is his take on everything? How prevalent is that within that culture? Because if he's at a certain level in the food chain, right, and he feels comfortable enough about openly yeah. writing memos, it makes me wonder how prevalent is that attitude because obviously he felt secure and comfortable in sharing that well, at a corporate level. I think that that's actually the question. Yeah. I think that that's what everyone's asking. Yeah. Is like how, you yeah. know, and, and I, yeah, I don't think it's just. I, I hate to say it. I don't think it's just one individual male engineer that thinks that. I'm sure there's no because he wouldn't have never more. wrote it if he thought he was alone yeah. in in his principles. Yeah, you know, he yeah, exactly. So yeah. Hmm. it takes it takes the heat off Facebook though, doesn't it? Yeah, right. right. I mean, yeah. I, I and and you know that's exactly what I thought. I was like, okay, there's there's Google. And then it's like, uh, when does the other shoe drop at Facebook? Mm. And I don't know what the size is. I'm, I'm sure I would think that Facebook is probably a smaller employee base is probably smaller than Google. I would think so. Yeah. You know, I didn't look yeah. it up. Um, how big these companies are. Right. But I mean, yeah. Google has always had this kind of open culture. They're famously uh, the reason they've been successful. Is they've had this very open culture. They've had uh, a lot of really great, uh, enticing amenities. Yes. Uh, you know, kitchens and free food and all that stuff. You know, the typical kind of tech thing. And then one thing that Google had that was very innovative and very cool, I think, very good, was you, as an employee, as an engineer or whatever, you could dedicate, like, I want to say 10% of your time something like that, mm -hmm. out of all your employee time, you get a percentage of your time to go off and work on something you want to work on. Yeah. So in other words, okay, uh, you get this block of time in your work schedule to go just work on, just go do something. Go innovate. Go. You got a, a crazy idea. You got an idea. Go do it. Right, and they've had Google Labs and stuff. So the idea is to get people creative and think of new things, and then you know the company would end up with cool new stuff because you know, and that that's really was a cool thing. Now I have heard that a lot of that has changed in the last few years, as Google has become more business like. May not. Statistic remain, uh, represents the number of Alphabet employees between 2007 and 2016 at the most. Recently reported year, the American multinational internet company, headquartered in Mountain View, California, Mountain View, California yes, has 72,053 full-time mm -hmm. employees. That's full-time. So that's that's actually yeah. That's, that's Google and Alphabet. So 72k. So that's a that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I wonder what that compares to, like Microsoft. I bet you Microsoft is is bigger by, gosh, almost full time Facebook employees uh, as of December two thousand sixteen was seventeen thousand and forty eight. Wow, wow. So there you go. Yeah. So so Google that and that 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 makes sense to me. So Google is seventy two thousand Alphabet yeah. total. And and remember they acquire companies and all that too, and then Facebook seventeen thousand, which right. makes sense because really Facebook is kind of a single platform, whereas Google's kind of all over the yeah. place. They've got lots of stuff going on. Microsoft one hundred and twenty seven thousand yep. one hundred and four employees. I would have guessed that. I would have guessed yeah. probably in the in the one hundred to one fifty k. Yep. That's if you if you would have tested me. So yeah. that would be Microsoft. So you'd have Microsoft at about one twenty five thousand employees, and remember this is worldwide too. Yeah, it's not just necessarily Redmond. Uh, right. Uh, Google about seventy two thousand. So Google's significant. Yeah. And um, then you have uh, uh, Facebook at seventeen thousand. So Facebook right. is relatively small. Yeah, and I think that has a lot to do with them and Google, you know, Google Center 2000, but I think it's because Microsoft also has a hardware division, too. Yeah. It's not just soft, it's also hard, yeah. whereas Facebook is virtual, right? I mean, right. it's all online. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Do they build any or manufacture any? Hardware. Yeah. I'm trying to, well. I don't know. <laughs> 
Well, I, I don't know. Does the Google cars manufacture and all that stuff, anything? Yeah, no, the cars and all that stuff. Not really. Not really. I mean, they kind of license it all out, like the Chromebooks and the Android and all that stuff. Right. And that's all manufactured by other right companies I, yeah i was yeah. thinking like amazon with their you know the uh, kindles and well stuff there would be another they're... one amazon oh. yeah. uh, actually google does wait a minute what am i talking about they have the pixel phone the they google do pixel phone they do so there's that and they do have their own chromebook yeah so they have but i think those are kind of anchor products though i mean i don't know anybody with the, i mean they're they're supposed to be really nice like the chromebook that google made and the pixel phone they're supposed to be really super nice but they're kind of anchor like if you're more like you know more like getting a samsung or something like that with android amazon you ready for this yes i do want to know amazon they uh they gotta be pretty big they at, at this point they are over three hundred and forty one thousand wow. employees wow Yep. But they got you're talking uh, warehouse fulfillment and yeah. drivers, and they have their own like, uh, you know, their own yeah. vans and stuff now. Yes, I've seen them. Yeah, so I don't know. You you're, you're right. They moved into the delivery service, and they should too. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me that Amazon would have the highest because they they they've got warehouses, and I mean, they yeah. at some point when you buy something on Amazon, you got to get it. Point A to point B. Man. Yeah, so they've distribution got, and, and that's uh, manual labor. Nope. Yeah. Of course, they want to do everything with robots and drones, but still, you got three hundred thousand people doing that. Have you ever wanted a drone, a dock drone? Uh, you ever uh, thought, man, if I if I had a drone, it comes up with the video flying stuff. As a matter of fact, I was yeah. looking at some footage. And then I'm at one point I was all excited. I was like, Oh, I gotta get, gotta get one. And, yeah. and for video, for sure. making the video. Right. And yeah. there's like a GoPro over here, like hook it up or whatever. Yeah. And they've got really nice ones now. And I worked with a guy who actually had a really nice drone and it was a pretty expensive one that he had and he mm. did some footage and we used that footage for a video or whatever. But then I just get bored. <laughs> I, I really do. Yeah. I just go, eh. and then there's people, and then there's the point where now yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, maybe I should have some flyover video stuff going on. Yeah. And then it's like, well, should I do that or should I just call someone about and go, hey, who does that for a live, right? Yeah. You know, source it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it revolutionized all of that because before you'd. Get people with helicopter footage. In fact, right. I even ran across a company that was like, they still, like, they had the picture of the helicopter and the camera on there and, you know, real high end stuff like movies and all that. Let us give you your in flight photography. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's kind of like a 360 in VR. Mm. That's the other one I wanted to play with. And then it was like, oh, wow, mm. wow, I'm so excited. Yeah. That one might still have, because they're doing like live. Uh, and here's the thing, right? Look. Here we are, right? Mm -hmm. There's your shorts. So we could get a camera and yeah. make it 360. Here. Ooh, I could be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but, then, but what's the point, though? Yeah. So you can see behind this monitor over here. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It comes to the point where it's like, oh, I'm, How behind I'm immersed the scenes. in Jason and Doc's world. It's oh. like, you know what? First. People People the do not want to be right in, now. Right. Is, People do not want to be immersed in me. Yeah. Yeah. No, not not a not a cool place to be. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah. <laughs> I, I, so I'm kind of like uh, last year. Yeah. You know, there's a thing, and I was like, "Ooh, I wonder if I got a little 360 thing and did a, like a thing," and, and yeah. then it was like, eh, I'm bored. I mean, it's just literally. I have I have a little cheap goggle thing. This. Yeah. Yeah. South Korean uh, phone running Just Google software on it. Turn it in a circle. Uh, it does, like, <laughs> that sort of thing. And then, you know, and it's yeah. like, uh, the first time I tried it, it was like, it's so blurry. I don't know. Mm. Everyone's so hot to trot with that stuff. And <laughs> <sighs> uh, games. Hot to trot. Well, games, gaming is yeah. always a big thing. Yeah. Other entertainment. You make it sound like they're divorcees or something. Hot to trot. She's hot to trot. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it's like... 360. I, hey, 
Uh, how about your th- uh, you you're watching all your 3D movies there, Jason? Yeah. With your 3D mm-hmm. goggles and all yeah. that stuff yeah. every single day. Mm. You watching your House of Cards and your Twin Peaks in 3D, right? Oh, right? Sure, right? sure. Because 3D, 3D. Remember that a couple years ago? Lynch and 3D. That was a couple years ago. Yeah. 3D everything. Oh my gosh! Every TV. If your TV doesn't have 3D, it's crap. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I watched a big TV that had 3D and had those special goggles that actually are like not the red green yeah. things, but they're the goggles and they're they actually plug in and they do the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched one movie and it was a kid teenage slasher kind of movie and it was totally <laughs> yeah. done for 3D. Mm. So it was hilarious so the Jaws knives and stuff, 3D, yeah. you know. And it was fun. Right? Mhm. Uh, there was a Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see that one? You got mm-hmm. kids. We mm-hmm. liked that one. It came with the 3D with the with the you know yep. Dr. Jacoby glasses. Oh yeah. It came with that. That was fun. Yep. My but kid it's had just, that. It's mm-hmm. just kitsch. It's yeah. just it's not. It doesn't. 3D. And uh, I've had this argument with people before. Sorry. 3D does not lend itself to storytelling. Mm. It just doesn't. Mm. It doesn't. And if you, oh, well. And then, I, like, I saw some 3D stuff when I checked it out a year or two ago on the phone and all that stuff. Yeah. And you're watching previews. Oh, I'm sitting in the movie theater. So I can turn over here and look at an empty seat and look over here, and there's the screen in the movie theater to watch that. I'm like, what's the point? Right. Dude, what's the point? Dude, eat your popcorn again. That's wild, man. Yeah. I hate that crap. I mean, it's, it, it. I don't hate it. Like, it's fun. Like I said, games. Sure. Gaming. Sure. Totally understand. Immersive. Yeah. If you're immersed in this world, gaming and exploring around, absolutely. That mm-hmm. makes sense, right? 3D makes sense, but VR makes even more sense there. Right, right. But your storytelling, <laughs> you know? It just doesn't, and everyone's like, oh, it's going to revolutionize. It, it, it never does. These are people who code, and they don't, like, you know, watch John Cassavetes movies or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I don't know. They're too busy coding. Yeah. It's like, you know, just go go study cinema <laughs> or something. Read some novels. Learn about storytelling. There's a lot to it that doesn't have to do with bells and whistles and things going off in 3D. And burr, burr, burr. This is what the Black Mirror is like, which mm. you haven't watched yet. Because yeah. Black Mirror okay. has a lot of stuff where, you know, it's all about the now or recent or current or soon sure. to be future. And there's Future-free. all this stuff going off in some of the episodes and people are all immersed and things are wow. You know, yeah. and and it, and it shows you how really annoying it is. Yeah, and everyone's like, "Oh, enhanced reality. We're gonna have enhanced reality, Ooh. like the Terminator, right? We're gonna. It's not. It's Ooh. not. Uh, it's not to VR. Enhanced. It's enhanced, like the mic- Sweet. the Microsoft Hololens, or yeah. before that, the Google Google Glass, right? Uh. Which was a horrible failure. Yeah. Other people are like, well, it wasn't a horrible failure. I knew people who had the Google Glass. And the first thing everyone did is it, it, they called people with Google Glass glass holes. <laughs> That's what people right. called them. Glass That's holes. That's great. Because they'd walk yeah. in with the Google Glass and immediately it was like, are you videotaping me? Are you? It was like this big surveillance weirdness. Yeah. No, look, look what I've got. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that it's not yeah. uh, something that couldn't be used. Uh, there again. Gaming, well, gaming's more immersive. Military, maybe. You Simulator, know, yeah. That sort of thing. Well, it's more the, like, you know. But oh. how much, how much, we're already so distracted. We in Oregon just enacted a law uh, about using your cell phone and all yeah. that stuff mm-hmm. while driving. Yeah. Washington has a really, I mean, I don't even know if you can eat French fries in your car in Washington anymore. Yeah, they put the hammer down on that. They did, right? Yeah. And so there's all these distractions. Yeah. And, you know, this is causing a lot of problems, like focus. We see, we that's the problem. This is the problem, folks, in 21st century. Yes. You're not focused. You're so, like, iPhone, it's like, you know, ADD and Adderall. And all, ah, sure. Ah, sure. You know, where's the focus? The focus. You got to get focused. Nobody does that, right? No. Nope. There you go. 
I want, you know, instead of like just goggles. And all these goggles and stuff are just going to like, it's going to be worse. We're already we, like doing this yeah. all day with our phones. Yeah. W- wake me when we get to the holodeck. Yeah. That's when Yeah. That's when I'm down. Right. Well, you could say VR sort of on that way, but no, I want full I want full holiday. I've really turned I've really turned the corner on some of these things. Yeah. Since I was younger. I I I've, I've become kind of a curmudgeon, Jason. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I should do a podcast you don't called say. Coffee with Curmudgeons. Yes. That, <laughs> that does sound good. Sounds I'm, like a good I idea. would be a part of that. Yeah. That would be awesome. I mean I I sent you we yeah. we don't have time to talk about it today but it, it kind of dovetails into i sent you uh some stuff about bill joy mm-hmm. and he's a real curmudgeon now this is bill joy was one of the founders of sun microsystems back yes. in the day mm-hmm. and he has been a naysayer about technology he's a curmudgeon for years about nanotechnology yeah. ai and we, well we have elon musk who's mm-hmm. shooting off rockets putting out electric cars doing Hyper tunnels and stuff. Yep. Not exactly a Luddite. No. Elon Musk, but already he's out there going, excuse me, I don't think AI is such a good idea, or at least we need to think about this. Yeah. Yeah. And we're in a world right now yeah. where the real big science news yeah. is three parent babies and huh. splicing genes. So yeah. the other thing that hit in the news, so there's this CRISPR thing that I've been talking about C, it stands for something and it's a gene splicing mm. thing yeah where that's... you can splice genes well it's a good thing right because you can go in and splice out diseases and things like that yeah yeah i mean there i mean there there is a benevolent side to that but there also mm-hmm. is a malevolent side to that and you know you say well geez jason how would that be well i uh, let's say uh you, your last name is Hitler, and you, you want to mm. uh, create a race of supermen, mm-hmm. you know, that, that will get no disease, that will be, you know, physically en- enhanced, uh, then, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a little worrying. Well, or uh, the full-fledged clone, you know, let, yeah. let's, let's just clone an army. We'll send them to war because... And then in addition, you know, I, uh, um, there was a release that... I, was, I never can find my links... Mm. Yay, what's new? But uh, something where uh, there was a paper, an actual published paper. I sent it to you. That's where it was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is, let's let's talk gene splicing, folks. Gene splicing. Because I sent this to you and I said, this is real Star Trek level stuff here. Yeah. And you were like, no way. And I was like, I don't know. They published it in a, you know, it's the, it's in the letters. You you have yeah. to go and make sure it's it's something that's being published in the letters, you know, in the, the academic in the journals. journals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if it's a medical thing and you look in and you find something I and lands it, a lot of stuff you know it's good. <laughs> in the message. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dear Lord. Well, I'm always, know. like, going back. Got to be prepared, like, man. That's not a good bookmark. Yeah. Where the heck is it? Got to be prepared. I sent you a Star Trek thing. Well, yeah. this, I, I just want to bring this up because it was, uh, it was, uh, goes, here we go. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to find it. I'm just wasting time. Well, we can talk about it Monday. Yeah. So basically what it is is um, in addition to like these biological splicing genes, mm-hmm. what I sent you, and we, we can look it up. Go Google it. Uh, the, uh, some researchers in the U.S. and somewhere else uh, wrote a paper about an actual chip that could go out and use nanotechnology right, right, and edit right. genes. Remember yeah, yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was real Star We were talking real. I mean, this was like they were talking about, basically they put it on the skin, and then they could yeah. uh, uh, manipulate genes of actual. So there's two types of cells, right? And I yeah. can't remember something, the blast and the this and the that. Yeah. Okay. Remember your genetic biology? Like, when the when the baby is formed, right? Sure. There's these cells, and they're just cells. They're just they're they're hey, we're a cell. What are we gonna do now? And then someone comes in and sends them a message and said, "You become a skin cell." And the cell goes, yep. "All right, 
I'm a skin cell, That's right? They I'll just do. line up. I, yeah. I could make the Disney movie about genetics. Actually, I could write that script, direct Ooh, that, right? Call it, call it Zygote, the movie. <laughs> yes, exactly. You remember yeah. those 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 Disney animation movies yes. about you know yes. uh, procreation and stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's a bunch of sperm in a line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're singing whistle while you work, but right. they are. You know. Uh, so anyway, good sperm is happy sperm. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the little animations, uh, cartoon, hi! Right. <laughs> um, but, hi. yeah, you would have these blasts, I don't remember. Yeah. And and then they get sent a message, and they turn into, go here and become this type of cell. Right. Right? This is where the whole stem cells thing comes from, the whole controversy. Yes. The stem type cells. Stem. Uh, anyway. Yep. So. Uh, uh, there was a weird breeze. Um, anyway, <laughs> so what they were saying is they can use this device, and rather than needing like these proto cells to, you know, yeah, make their um, genetics and make them into something else, they could actually take actual cell skin and things and edit them, yeah, on the fly with electronics mm. and. Nanotechnology and electricity. It was like really crazy. It was basically like that little thing on Star Trek. Yeah, the they, thumbnail on the actual the, thing was you know, the McCoy thing and uh, yeah, put the thing Star Trek four or five. Yeah, put the thing on your head and with and, the whales and fix your your brain cells mm -hmm. that were damaged. I mean, it was basically like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the world we're moving into, mm -hmm. and this is the kind of thing that we have to deal with yeah. while we're writing memos about. Right, girls can't jump or something. I so, don't know. I, I don't, yeah, yeah. But the last one, mm. we're not. We're not. See, Jeezy's not here. We're not doing sports. And yep. you know what? The, I'm I'm in such a mood. We'll deal with that next week. But the last right. one is in your technology news. See, this is tech tech day, tech Friday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Travis over there, at Uber. Mm -hmm. The big news. <laughs> yeah. Benchmark Capital is going to sue. Travis Kalanick. Mm, so basically, really? if you recall, is okay. he was the f founder. Yes. Of Uber. Mm -hmm. A lot of Uber issues and problems. Yeah. Uh, lots of problems. Lots. That's a company problems. culture right there, folks. Yeah. And Uber is like a highly capitalized, valued company. Like one of the top. Why? It's over. It's overcapitalized. I'll yeah. tell you that right now. Right? But these companies came in, invested in Uber, mm -hmm. and uh, Benchmark Capital is, like the, I believe, the largest shareholder. So when he stepped down as CEO because of all the problems, yeah, uh, he stayed on the board, and he's got board power because he's the founder. Yeah. Benchmark Capital, their big investor, wants him out. Right. They're yeah. done with him. Yeah. And uh, my prediction is he's gone. Yep. Because the big money that comes in there, that kind of money, they'll know. buy him out. He'll uh, he'll 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 uh, yeah, be phased yeah. out. Well, the story is he yeah. created board seats and that and, and that uh, were uh, not uh, legal or whatever. You know, the, sure. they weren't and and. That's how he stays on the board. And so, gotcha. so I, I think I think he's gone. Who would oversee his, that? Was, is that SEC territory? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Because they're publicly, the Uber isn't Uber; it's public. Public, right? Yep. So, they yeah, are. you betcha. Okay. So, but this is, I think, this is just a private lawsuit. But when that, that yeah, if the feds get involved. But they, Ooh. well, I don't know if it's that, but the the, the investors own the company. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if you're founder or whatever. You can be kicked out. As soon as you open it up, you, yeah. you know. The the way the yeah. founders stay, like a Bill Gates or someone like that, 50, stay in power. 51% or whatever. Right. Or they have the complete backing of the uh, people who capitalized you. Right. It's like, no, stay there. You're doing a good job. We like, right. like what you're doing. Right. So, I mean, it, it's very rare that founders actually do stay in their businesses. Right. Like Bill Gates is a famous one. Yeah. Uh, you know, he left Microsoft on his own accord. He retired. Yeah. But he stayed there, um, which is very unusual. Very, Well, very Jobs unusual. left and then came back, right? Yeah, Jobs famously was pushed out yeah. by his board. Yeah. 
So, I mean, that was a famous uh, thing where he came back, which doesn't happen no. at all. No. So only it's if very they, rare. Only if, the, only if the product is starting to tank a little bit and they need the guy to come back in to kind of right. yeah. revitalize. Yeah. Well, I think... I, I don't know. Partly to uh, Jobs still had a lot of controlling interest and whatnot, and then he, then he was actually, frankly, successful at his other businesses to mm -hmm. Pixar, yeah, and became majority of Disney. I mean, you know, it was yeah. like, but anyway, I yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think this is a good thing. And th this guy's, this guy's story arc is not so great kind of smarmy dude well yeah but uh part of it was as all this was going down at uber his mom died something like in yeah a boating accident yeah yeah, yeah yeah which the more yeah. i look at it with this story yeah. here and they're pushing him out i mean boy the bigger the money the more things can you know yeah it's like I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to speculate, but uh, <laughs> as they as they say, I don't think Travis should get any hot tubs anytime soon. <laughs> now so, I sound like so it was. <laughs> so it, okay. uh, if I'm reading this straight, uh, it, it's like a throw mama from the train sort of scenario. No, no. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's a horrible thing know. to say. But you said hot tubs and stuff. I thought maybe that's what's that's going on. That's a horrible on. thing to say. I don't know. The man's. God, God well, I'm how, just, do, how do you how do you even go there? I'm, I, I I was speculating. That was horrible. I, I, I didn't know. You gotta take that back. That was horrible. okay. I take that back. That was horrible to say. I mean, that's. I mean, I feel bad for him because of that stuff. I'll get I him don't a hot feel tub. totally bad. I'm I'll make talking it up about him. him specifically. Oh, okay. There's a certain there's a certain threshold <laughs> that you don't cross. Okay? Right. Red lines. There are lines oh, in the sand. That was yeah. horrible. I'm sorry. I mean, I feel you know. bad for him. I'll tell you what. I'll make it up to him. I'll buy him a hot. No, no. I'll buy him a hot top and throw no, him a toaster. You're not, no, you're not. That's horrible. God, <laughs> God. Why? I'm just. I just uh, yeah. I'm just trying to help. I need like Don Imus here to I'm yell here. at you. He's like, that's horrible. That's horrible. Not. What is wrong with you? <laughs> that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Well, I just, you know, I'm just trying to add a little Okay, you know what? It's levity. my own fault because I brought that up. I floated. Yeah, see, it's your fault. I don't know. But uh, <sighs> adding a little dark levity to the uh, situation, you know. Uh, okay, on a happier note, Snapchat's yes. value is, is on the market. Remember they went hmm. IPO. Snapchat is tanking. Yeah. I don't, I don't and I've never understood what the what the deal is with that. Why that was such a stock? So yeah, so Blue know. Apron, Blue Apron, and Snap are sinking on the market. Mm. A company that sends you food and All recipes. Right. Wow, that's innovative, isn't it? Blue we Apron. have an app for they, that. Yeah, they've got a huge uh, campaign going on right now. I've heard a lot in the uh, yeah uh, in media. You know, oh yeah, there. but they're not. Uh, yeah, they're 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 having they're struggling because yeah. what's the innovation there? You know, yeah. As far as uh, you know, sending food to people in recipes, hell, you and I could do that. Here's a budget and coffee and and fries. You well, know? With, with my budget, it's going to be like a pop tart. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I don't maybe maybe like a muffin, maybe bran muffin. Yeah. Hey, look, at least he's making sure I'm regular. Snap sinks as Q2 growth and revenue fall short. I you know. <sighs> I, I just don't get Snapchat, and I and I see people that are trying to do like what we're doing here on Snapchat. Yeah. Guess what? There's so many platforms, right? Yeah. Let's see. We're on two right now. Facebook, mm -hmm. kind of a large platform. Sure. Twitter, Periscope, which is Periscope, is very Twitter. large platform. Kind of a large platform. Yeah. There might be leaders of the Western world that are on Twitter too. Yeah. That could watch this right now. Hey, Don. Uh, hey, I was asked by a guy who works at the gym, <laughs> right? Uh, he, uh, he he uh, wanted to know. <clears throat> no, no, no. This was downstairs. He uh, actually works for the company for the gym, who owns the gym. Uh, and we were yakking the other day, and he asked me, he goes, he goes, why aren't you guys on Twitch? Right, exactly. And I was like, what? Yeah, no. Because I always thought that was like a gaming sort yeah, of platform. Yeah, no, and that's, that's something we're exploring. 
That, oh, is, that okay. is a platform. And we're not doing live streaming on on uh, YouTube. We post the videos on YouTube. Yeah. But um, Well, no, aren't we Facebook Live? I mean, I share yeah. the... Yeah, yeah, we're Facebook Live, and yeah. we're, we're on, we're on uh, Periscope right yeah. now. Yeah. What we're not is going... Because you can go live on, on YouTube, on Google. That's gotcha. where we have not yet done that. Gotcha. And then there's Twitch, which is the gaming platform. But a lot of yeah. people are doing stuff on Twitch. And then there's Snapchat, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is like... You know how uh, I had a, a manager, a boss once, who was mm-hmm. like a Harvard MBA, mm. and he basically said, mm. "You're number one or number two, or that's about it." Yeah, you might be able to slide into number three and have a healthy business, but when you're four or five or whatever, and and people think, "Oh no," but on the internet with all these things like statues, it's like, folks, yeah, there's no. enough room. And you know. It, uh, you know, let's let's be honest. the The first video platform out there was Google, YouTube. It wasn't actually Google bought YouTube. Yeah, it was a couple kids in their garage. Yeah, and they bought YouTube, and that's still. I mean, they, if you think of the video that gets, you know, that goes through Google, YouTube. I mean, it's huge. It's unimaginable. In fact, I read a statistic, and it's like, I mean, just alone the stuff I have been mm. involved with putting up there. And mm-hmm. and then I think, I'm just one guy, you know, yeah. doing these projects. Not just Newsbox, but other people's projects. And so I'm just one single guy. So it's like, yeah. anyway, times that by the world. Yep. And views and all that. So the Snapchat wow. thing, just, I don't know. Yeah, because, I mean, there's a billion of them. There's a, what, Instagram? Well, Instagram, which is, which is a Facebook thing. So, yeah. So, I am a curmudgeon when it comes to tech. Arr. I guess what I'm saying is there's going to be a fallout. Yeah. A bubble, there's, maybe? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. See, you're all you're all high and far out on your uh, stock market is the highest it's ever been. Yeah. It's Riding a, high on Monday, shot down in May. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Like, uh, I can't yeah. remember that. It's, oh, the stock market? Yeah, over, like over 22. 22,000. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well... Guess what? If you're buying into when it's there, what comes up, <laughs> must sucker, down. is you. Oh my gosh, I yeah. am such a horrible human being today. <laughs> no, but I mean, all economists and then agree he does that the what color horrible stuff. Jeez, what? Man. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, I mean, oh, you know, trying to anyway comfort the afflicted. We got to get out of here. Helpless. Yeah. So we got to get out of here. All right. Uh, last words? Yeah. I don't know. What are the last words? What is, what's good? Um, is there anything good this weekend? Can yeah, you tell it's us supposed to good? rain on Sunday. You're kidding me. Yeah, we're supposed to get some rain. But is it going to be cool and cool well, seven, off? Well, 72 humid? degrees. Uh, so it's going to be a, war- a warmer rain. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah. I mean, it's already humid. Is I mean... But. It, it's not. It's not the. It's not the heat though. It's the humidity. Really? I'm telling been, you. Been exacerbated by the uh, smoke from those fires. Has kind of kept a kind of a oh, protective yeah. smog-like cloud it's over horrible. the region. But uh, I guess uh, it's supposed to break through and rain on Sunday. We'll see what happens. And other than that, last words, man. Just it's pretty bad. Yeah, just have a good weekend. Stay stay out of trouble, kids. <laughs> We'll yeah, keep we'll, our eyes on you. We'll see. Yeah, uh, we'll see what develops uh, this afternoon yeah. in the world. You know, there's going to be a Friday data dump. So, something's going to happen like literally seconds after we go off. Uh, right. In fact, let me check Smart News right before we go uh, off, just just to make sure we didn't. Uh, uh, let's do the wide shot. Okay, let's do that. Are you? Are you? I'm on Smart you? News. Smart News. <sighs> let's uh, re. Uh, it's been an interesting Friday, yeah, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah. I think I, uh, you know what they used to say, your grandma would say, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah. And I'd be like, no, it was the same side I wake up on right. every day. But, yeah, it was the wrong side of the bed. My mom used to say, uh, you know, instead of uh, waking up on the wrong side of the bed, I basically fell off the bed. Oh. You're cranky this morning. Yeah. I think that's what that happened. Junior curm- curmudgeon mode. Well, you know. That's what happened to me. Okay. Let's wave. Well, let's wave goodbye at the studio. Adios, hasta luego. See you later.